Turn the beat down. You turn it down zone? a little bit. Turn it down. Turn it down a little bit. No, you in your zone. Uh. Uh. Y'all heard the other side of the story. Uh. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> I hate when it's someone's turn. <laughs> uh. Mike check. Young. Grew up on Jewett. Jew shit. Uh. uh. Backpack how I do it. Mm -hmm. No car. Walking. Right. It's the Coney's. Right. Felt like the king of NY. Young Tony. I need my verse. Come on. Hey. <laughs> With James in the back. <laughs> uh. What were we rapping about next? Uh. I was the first to the day parties. Uh. Yeah, there we go. That's not Fontlewer right there. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah. Signed a million dollar deal the before the pod. I'm trying to give you a verse. <laughs> well, turn add down. that, add that. Turn it down. Uh. Come on, jump in this thing. Uh, uh, yeah. I was the first to the day party. Was it just Options. What you say, party? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm sipping Bacardi. Right. Uh. Rest in peace, Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> the Bacardi to Bob Marley's nasty. You know Rory got a rest and, and in why, peace, Bob. And uh, why rappers just throw a rest in peace that has nothing to do with the first uh, at all? Yeah, right. Like, right. Yo, why we at it? <laughs> uh, nobody else got some Rory bars? Rory, you would smoke this beat, man. I would. More, what you would give him? Uh, it was a Bronx tale. Since Bronx Tale. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good start. Oh, I like that start. Oh, yeah. pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I like Get that in start. your bag real quick. I like that start. Rolly on the wrist. Uh -huh. Oh, I would have beat. Oh. I got to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not fucking with y'all. I was on the con Anything course. sound good on this shit. I was, I was just a con uh, trying to find my course. Right. Uh, uh, con trying go. to find his course. Uh. Core bodies, no remorse. Mm. Uh, had the plug, you know the source. Yes, uh, yes. Before Benzino and the source. Right. Uh, I was there. Now I'm just pardoning <laughs> Muslim shit. Right. God in. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Uh, that type of uh, shit. God body. Maybe God could stop me. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 you gotta leave, leave the uh uh, 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 uh. Come on, man. What are we That's doing? That's because right they know now? it's authentic when you Look leave at Rory, keep bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, man. No. Come on, because you know we're going to spend an hour on this song. We're going to spend an hour on this song, man. <laughs> we might have to revisit that when we play that. Actually. They restoring the feeling. <laughs> Y'all felt that? Y'all was feeling that? You didn't? For yeah, me, this, for this me, my first, do you have feelings? I'm hearing this. <laughs> Y'all just played this. My first time here. I didn't hear it last night. Well, you know we had the lead. Oh yeah, that feeling yeah. that that mall talk that I always bring it up just because I I can imagine it like when athletes see LeBron and when athletes see Kobe, like it don't really matter what you can do. They're judging it just through different eyes. Mm -hmm. Like I would never think that Darvin Ham would look at LeBron and be impressed at how high LeBron can jump. Like it's niggas that can jump. We've seen niggas jump higher than LeBron. But just the total package of shit. Like for a rapper, this has to be the closest you could come to that. Right. It's like, you know what's going on with the words <laughs> in this. Mm -hmm. Maybe the casual person may not get I'm dick riding early, man. Hold up. You thought the whole Avengers wasn't, wasn't going to come yeah, out come today? On, it's, it's us. They knew it. They knew it's it. It's us. Off uh, the rip. Who else but us? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's, a, no. it's one minute in. Yeah, no. I know, it. I, know, I know exactly where it is. <laughs> I get right to one it. One on one. It's right there. <laughs> Mike check one, two, one, two. Uh, best pod on the world wide web. I'm here. I'm in my bag today. Let's go. I'm not going to speed it up because the new app fucks up the pitch. I heard y'all, man. You got to keep building on your creation, man. Regular it's, pitch, it's regular probably, pitch, regular pitch. On there. Should be. It is. It still sounds funny. Oh, uh, for real? Mm. What was the studio session like? Oh, no. Nah. Okay. I wasn't there for that. I was very young. <laughs> Ball was 12, so. Yeah, I was, I was very young. Yeah, 
This pod was well on its way until I, when I realized that we had a pretty cool dynamic of like Parks engineering records that are being released, Rory throwing day parties and trying to make an album, and you engineering Rockefeller. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's Google, not me. I'm just saying. Like, but, but do you see what it transformed into, though? You have us. All right, I'll start here. You have... Antifa and QAnon on both sides. And you have me and Joe in the middle, terrified for our lives. Yeah, we represent the American people. One thousand percent. This is America right here? Uh, back to hold, back yeah, to hold, back to hold. Yeah, yeah. Antifa. Oh, yo, this second verse right here, smoke this shit. Listen to this, Maul, listen to this. This the one that set him apart? <laughs> set him apart. Set him apart. What set Hove apart? Big dying? No. Nah, he was on He set way. himself yeah. apart from Big when they did records together. It was two totally different type of rappers. Completely. But different. I do think the lane opened up for him yeah. to become the megastar. Yeah. Rest in peace, Big, of course. Of course yeah. I mean, that's to me, I don't even look at it like that because you can't fill that void. So I understand True. what you're saying, but Big was just such a... Think about the type of records he did, like being an East Coast artist to jump on a track with Bone Thugs and Harmony at that time. We didn't, we never really heard that. Well, my retort to that would be that after Big set that blueprint, because after that, there was Volume One, which was uh, a bad boy kind of produced album. And then we say that, two, we say that, but it was just the first two whoa, 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 songs. Whoa, 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 whoa. But then Volume Two, That's not true. then Volume Two, he started That's not to incorporate true. it. It, be, it became a blueprint to incorporate a bounce record on here, an R&B record on hey, here, which is the big, the big sauce. What, what, man, the volume I put one. it this way: I don't like that comparison because Volume One would, is would Hard Knock Life not hit if Big was alive? It would have hit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like Jay was gonna be Jay. Absolutely. Sure. But Absolutely. that blueprint of let me put a bounce record on here, goes, let me put an R and B record on here, let me put a street record, let me put a preem record. Yeah. It's puff. Is is puff. That's big big and puff <laughs> sauce. For yeah. sure. For, oh yeah. Because no, Nas, Nas did it too with I Am mm-hmm. after Life uh Life After Death. Mm-hmm. So, Rory, you know you lose this. I still don't think I do. City is mine. I know what the girls like. What what else? Oh, and Sunshine. All right, so three records. The rest of that no, is not uh, is not a throwaway. St- Stevie J did uh, a record on. He there. did Lucky Me. That doesn't sound like a fucking. Lucky Me is a bad boy record. It is. Well, it's because Stevie J did it. Who but it you sound win like is a typical. bad boy record. I disagree. What do you mean, bad boy record? The producers? The whole. Well, no, of course the producer. I'm saying the, the sound. Because sam- Lucky sampling Me sampling the smash Lucky record. Me a- you must love me is uh, Nashim Myrick, and where I'm from is Dida. It was a lot of bad boy under. It's I'm bad talking. Boy I'm talking about the sound. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, talking about the producers. producers. About producers. Well, oh, Parks I was is talking, talking about, about, the about the producers. I'm talking about the sound. The producers Lucky, sound. Lucky, Lucky, Lucky Me, no, no, but a producer can make a different sound. It's a bad boy sound. And this is not Sunshine. Is not on this. Yeah, I said Sunshine. City is mine, and I know what the girls like. To me, were the only bad boy esque. Records. I disagree. Three out of fourteen. I disagree. <clears throat> Personally. And the joints we if love, I, and I even really, the bad boy ones. Really Where I'm from is not a bad boy beat, and that's I, the best record on this album hey, outside of the intro. I, but I was just about to say, and I'm not going to say this. If I wanted to argue with you for real, mm. uh, you must love me is a, a bad boy record. Where I'm from is a bad boy record. Crack game is a bad boy record. Friend of foe is a bad boy, right? Like if I only if I wanted to argue with you. When I'll big so. when big got on his street shit, and when bad boy did the street shit, it sounded like where I'm from. It but sounded that, like that it sounded like you must you must love me sounds like it's two biggie records. But I that wasn't even that wasn't even a any type of bad boy shit. What's um? Why am I blanking on Big's you must producer? Love Big's me first in, producer. You must love me and somebody. Easy, Mo, Easy Moby. Yeah, like that's not Easy Moby did all the street joints we like on Ready to Die. Play you must love. He's me not a bad and, boy and, sound and, well, and, and producer somebody at got all. To die. Easy Moby is yeah, not that. Yes no. <laughs> the, the biggest street record off Ready to Die was um, unbelievable, which is Prem. But I mean, Prem had a relationship with Jay. No, I meant street esque records. But like, don't do that. In my lifetime came out what year? Like everyday struggle. Like uh, it came out yeah. after Life After Death. It did. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Somebody got to die is You Must Love Me. There's another one on there that is You Must Love Me. Like, But I'm not trying to argue, so I would never argue that because that's tech, that's Sonic. Um, volume 1 was absolutely influenced by Bad Boy. But Bad oh, no, Boy influenced everything there, right there. I'm just saying that the three Bad boy S singles where it was like, all right, this was definitely a throwaway or supposed to be a single for Big was the three I named. City is Mine, I Know What the Girls Like, and Sunshine. They put on the shiny suits. Of course, this album is definitely a... Bad boy influenced album, yeah. But I just think three are the stereotypical bad boy shit. 
And we're on front of Snapchat. Which is bad boy. <laughs> I, I've, I've made my point clear in saying I'm not talking about the talking actual about the producers. Sound. I'm talking about the sound. The typical yes. bad boy Joe, sound. But, but the producers are the sound. But then I'm right. Because right, D-Dot is the bad boy. But, but yeah. All I, those producers have made sounds that don't sound like bad boy shit. Eventually, yeah. I'm but saying producer, that, producers can year, change their that sound. Time, that's why I'm talking about. That was What has B-Dot done that don't sound like bad boy shit? <laughs> I'd have to bring up a shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Uh, Anytime I've ever heard of Rob, 50. And shout out to all the shout out to all the hitmen, man. Absolutely. Nashima Rick and, and Six July. Maybe I just think entirely. And just shout out to D-Dot as a human being. Maybe I think just entirely too high of bad boy. And I know that Stevie niggas going to say that because I, I work at Revolt. But I think really, really high of bad boy. How could you not? I said Puff is the greatest ear of all time. So you, y'all know where I stand. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. Maybe that's there's some of that. There's some of that in there. Oh, I got drops. No, 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 the game, the inner game, the game within the game. Uh, welcome to episode 415 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I am your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, depending on what month it is, am I highly favored? Uh, <laughs> here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Rory is here. Parkson is here. Erickson is here. Uh, Savon is here. Corey is here. And Alex is here. And whoever is sitting on the stairway that I can't see is here. Also, I'm not sure if Rem is here. She hasn't come down to visit us since she got the I new pad. Sure That's, uh... The gentleman sitting on the staircase is who I set up to line you on the way out. Got it. Uh, so, got it. It's the goons, the Rory yeah. goons. The, oh, damn it. Hate when they're loud inside. <laughs> hate when Listen, they, it's cold outside. I hate when they can sit in. Yeah, on you got to feed the wolves, man. Sit in on the pod. You do <laughs> feed have the to, wolves. You do have to feed the wolves. <laughs> or they'll eat you. Feed the wolves. Ra- that's so fucked up that rappers have to go through that lesson, too. Feeding the wolves? Yeah. So many <laughs> lessons that rappers have to go through yeah. that are not talked about enough. Yeah, feeding the wolves or going bankrupt because of the wolves. Either one. Yeah. Or getting ate by the wolves. Yeah. yeah. It's fucked up when you got to start fighting the dudes that was uh, there to protect you. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Damn it. Very much so. Anywho, man, how's everybody doing? Good, man. How you guys feeling? I feel amazing. Good, good. Everything's good. I'm awesome. Glad you asked. Yeah. <laughs> How you we, feeling, Joe? We're supposed to get some bitch-ass Thanks. snow, but... It's the only parks that ever has I'm doing, but I feel great. In, ca- in case the haters had another thing to say, hit them with another hat for your head top. On your head top. <laughs> on your head top. Mad uh, Vinci's all over that thing. How you got more hats for your head top? Givenchy. Uh, and you see you got to change the clothes over there. Roy, Couple hats mm, in the corner. Roy oh, it's hats on hats on hats. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is no cap. That's that should be like four or five grand right there. <laughs> your new name is no it's cap. four or five grand. <laughs> <laughs> you saved that one. No, I really, that was a first I've been at this hat. You've seen this hat. I've, I don't pay yeah, attention. They, they, like they pissed me. <laughs> what the, hold on. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's sitting up here. Who shit is that? I just don't put it on camera. <laughs> I don't know. So y'all just sat that there. Nobody knows who that who, who that who that's from. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get this shit out of here. Who is it? Who is this that? This is like our MeUndies ad. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Okay, man, we're gonna tell you. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. Everybody looking at me like a fucking, I don't know. This like shit. Knight just walked in a room with some nigga. Who shit is that? Ma, I really don't know. You won't come to pod on time. So no, I'm the- on pod to time. I'm on time to pod. I mean, <laughs> I'm on t- you, you, no, you you're like, on pod to time. You you like you like hitting the chat at 10 a.m. to about noon. Like nigga, <laughs> fuck you think this is? Nigga just sitting on the edge of the bed waiting for you to give a time. Nigga, <laughs> fuck out of here. Nigga. <laughs> Niggas got shit to do. Nigga, fuck you talking about. <laughs> You can't say noon at 10. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. What's wrong with this nigga, man? That's not how this thing works, nigga. I ain't on your time. I know you can see me in the screen. I know you can see me in the screen. Yeah, nigga, get him. Zoom look, in look on that word. nigga. No, zoom in on everyone. Nah, zoom in on this nigga right here. <laughs> Someone <laughs> help. We in here on our day off because of this nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then he gonna hit the chat at 10 talking about noon. Nigga, fuck you. I'll be here too, nigga. How about that? And we was talking before, Maul. There's, there's been some shit where I've, I've really had to do some stuff over the weekend on a Friday that would really help my, like, life. But what you do? You know. Sacrifice for the Sacrifice, team. Like, no, yo. Everyone back, can't right? do the Thursday shit. I'll just suck it up. And I'll then, it hold on. Then I'll this take nigga the red-eye flight home. Woo! 
Then this nigga had the fucking go. The reason Joe is making us record on a Thursday, I'm not even going to say. Yeah. But it ain't a reason. No, hold on. <laughs> then the nigga tried to pop fly and say, yo, we could have came in here on Friday. Like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that while we here. <laughs> Don't talk fly while we here. Don't do that. Because if niggas could have been here on Friday, we would be here on Friday. But because... The homie asked. We said, nah, for you, fam, it's nothing. We'll be here Thursday. <laughs> for you. But you ain't going to hit the group chat on Thursday at 10 a.m. and say noon and think, I'm going to be here at noon. We're not doing that. Nah. Nah, fuck that. Floor is yours, Senator. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, y'all keep talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> then you niggas got hats on hats on hats over here. That's for you. That ain't for me, blood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who. Because it's not upside is. down? No, nah, I don't even know what that is. It is I, I don't even. Re- oh, never mind. You do have it upside down. I'm about to say, I don't even always. recognize you when nah, the Raiders you know, is the right got, way up. Nah, nah, nah. We always got the upside down somewhere. You know that. All right. How was y'all little patronage? It was actually one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, I know really they good. don't ever want to hear us talk about Patron, so yeah. we we call it Patron now. Yeah, because <laughs> that'll one, save us. One of my favorite episodes. <laughs> yeah, by far. Okay, got out some grievances. Okay, I just be having to make sure before I start talking. Oh, you, brought, you kept the files? I love, I love this podcast. So, Monday, mm-hmm. I didn't hear a Monday in your story. What about Monday? <laughs> Why don't I tell you? Monday, I say, yeah, it's right here. Put this on the screen. Park said, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, if Parks and Erickson are available to start filming at noon for Patreon stuff, then I'll be there early. Dot, dot, dot. Thursday, I'd like us to potentially tape our Saturday episode. Who's with me? Erickson jumped in. That works for me. Maul jumped in and said the plan was to record Thursday for Saturday anyways. Uh, correct? Parks said I'm cool with noon and Thursday. I said perfect. I'll be there before noon. To that you say, that makes no fucking sense. That is that that was on a Monday, and we never said we never said we never said that was for Thursday. That was for that was for Tuesday. Okay. First of all, no. I mean, boss. Well, so now with our I'm right. Patreon you can say episode, I'm right. fuck him. I'm right, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? You can't ask that. That don't even make sense. What he's saying. If Maul you, says, you know wait, 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 time out. Say last night in the if, chat. What did Parks come in the chat with? If Maul what time says, tomorrow? so if Parks didn't even know what time today. Oh Jesus. Parks hit last night and said, what time tomorrow? You responded at 10 a.m. and said noon. Uh, <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Just tell me if I'm right or wrong. Ball's right on this one. I'm right, fam. I know I'm right. I'm not going to just sit here. Well, it's also at 6.50 in the morning. Not at 10 a.m. That's the time I got it at 10 when oh, I woke okay. up. <laughs> gotcha. Listen, Still. I'm, all right, well, I'm, what listen, do you... All right. I'm just happy to see everyone. Time out. <laughs> no, I'm not out this fight yet. <laughs> Let's you discuss out. scheduling. Ball's got this one, Parks. You're right. I'm open to other people being right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Open to it. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not rolling. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm but open it's okay. to it. It's okay. We can discuss now, you possibly yeah, being yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're wrong. But you're wrong. I will, oh, not, that was I funny. will not ask this to Maul. What say the rest of the room Your to is underrated. Maul has never been on time. That's not true either. Well, well, what does we can the look rest, at the time cards. Only to our what flights does, to LA. What does the rest of the room have to say to that that's, little blurb? That's not true either. Mo, Mo uh, moves to the beat of his own drum. That's Mo, not true. Mo be late. I don't be late. If for, I get here at two for five years straight. If, 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 I, first of all, I, go ahead, y'all, y'all get y'all shit off, and then the defense is gonna is gonna address the defense. What? It's five years straight. No, that's not true. That's not true. First of all, if I get here at two, what are y'all doing usually before we started the Patron shit? Mm-hmm. Y'all eating, chilling, smoking cigs. I walk in at 2.40 because we don't start recording till 3.30 anyway if we get here at 2. Because we're waiting. We can't pod. I would eat, we can't I would eat before without, I come. That's not true. We can't I'm just pod. trying to fill we the time. We can't pod without you. No I, no, I know you can't, but usually when I get here at 2, that was the, that's, that's how you talk, talk your shit. And I like the two, tone on that. 2 o'clock. That's right, y'all can't. Right? No, no, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> we usually no, like start. The, the, the usual time was 2. <laughs> if I get here closer to 2, everybody's usually chilling. It's been times I walked in the studio and waiting, eating, doing shit. But I'm just saying that's what we usually do: come in and eat, and then talk shit and record. Okay, then let's say noon so we can record it too. But this just started. This noon shit. This was this just started last week. Well, that's because of the Patron, yeah. 
That's all I'm saying. And, I, and and today, I would have been here at noon if I didn't wake up at 10 and see noon. Like, I feel like you. I, I woke up at 10. So yeah, I'm, I'm just like, yo, I live here, fuck? so I don't know. What I didn't know we was coming in at noon today. I just toppled across the board for everybody. <laughs> if we do say a time and a time that we schedule prior, I agree with you on the noon part. If we say two, let's just all be here at two. I, I agree with that part. The funny thing <laughs> like, about our schedule is we too. say two. And you know what, and Alex? This is fun for you because you have a podcast, and look, right? And I hear Joe. Like, look, I be trying I to understand to, why he, look, he be I, having a I, blast. I spoke to Joe last night. Well, not last night. Yesterday. No. I said, yo, I'm going to come in early tomorrow, right? This is before This is before you hit the chat last night and said, what time? Uh-huh. So I said, yeah, I'm going to come in early tomorrow. He said to me, yo, I'll see you at noon tomorrow. No, that's not what I said. That's not. See, he's, this nigga be lying his yo, ass man, what, 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 what we got? I never said that. Cash what, what after grace after about. the world. Yo, yeah, shout uh, out to you, Cash after Powered niggas. by. Yeah. <laughs> just let me do it, man. Power, <laughs> powered by. Empowered by. Sponsored by. Brought to you by. Defended enabled by. by defended by. Damn, Brokey. Cash app. Greatest app in the world. Greatest app in the world. By far. Easy. Oh, Ooh, now what? Uh, Not sending it. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Not sending it. You Not pass that by way if you need. If you need to get some Not off. Not sending it. Yo, when we yeah. put our cash apps out, however long ago that was, the amount mm, of people nightmare. that request. It's a nightmare. Like, all right, if you, you want to request 20 bucks because you can't eat that day, I respect it. Yeah. But the audacity of strangers just requesting a, a light 15 grand. <laughs> And sometimes my fingers can slip. I might hit accept by accident. Oh no! You have to be really careful. Like they don't. Th- that's one thing. Cash app do got to fix is like the immediately they decline don't have to fix thing. Anything. <laughs> yeah, they need to hit you with the "Are you sure?" Yeah, yeah. It's like give me the "Are you sure?" Right. And then you're second guessing yourself. Like, am I sure? I don't, yeah, exactly. Which is the right one to hit? I, I don't need know. The are you sure? <laughs> give me the "Are you sure?" First. They should put that judging by your contacts. Like, are you sure you want to send this girl this much money? <laughs> yeah, they she's not even in your phone. <laughs> She's not now. saved in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I love Why are you sending that. this girl this much money? She, she saved as a dog walker. There's no way that costs that much. <laughs> hey, man. No, nah, she walked the dog, though. Everybody Walk, eats. Fuck the dog. <laughs> she walked the dog, She walked the dog, she walked the dog, dog for sure. going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she made sure that dog used the bathroom. That's one thing she's going to do. I haven't, I haven't found a successful way to object to women being mad when you cash app other women money while you're in a relationship. Oh, what, wonder how, wonder how Yo, I don't understand how I gotta laugh at that. Joe the way I do man What woman is gonna be okay with you sending a, What woman of yours is gonna be okay With you sending a woman money Money of all things None <laughs> of all things None. Ain't but, no woman ever gonna be cool with that But that's not a big deal It is It is it is. That's a big deal To a woman that is that's a, a very, very big, big deal, deal. But I'm, there's no women in the room So why are y'all saying that I know, I, women, know women. I know women in real no, life but Tell me how y'all feel about it well, I mean, there's probably no difference of throwing money in a strip club, but if that woman's not a stripper, I'd have to ask why you're throwing them or why are you giving this woman money? No, so, so you can't loan why? your, so you can't loan, not you, you, but you can't loan your female friend money while you're in a relationship. Oh, of course you can. You can, but, but it comes with trouble. Yes. Potentially. Yeah. Trouble. It's a conversation. I wouldn't say trouble, but it, it, here's the thing. If it's your female friend like that, then your girl knows her. It right? gets eyeballs. That's not true. It's not all the way true. It can be true, not all the way true. If it's your female friend for real, like your real female friend, your girlfriend most likely knows her. Knows of no, her, No, or knows of her. Yeah. She don't or have to her. know her, have met her, experience no, but her, but she, she can know she, of her. Yeah, but if it's your female friend... It's COVID. Nah. The, only, the only way <laughs> a girl, your girl doesn't know a female friend of yours is because you don't want her to know her. That's not true at all. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. not true. That's not true. Well, nah, you not you true. have traveled. My fem- have real traveled female friends, world. if I had a girlfriend, they would know my girlfriend. Like they would be, they would have conversations with my girl. Like, Why? Because that's not my real female friend. What it depends. Do they live in the same city? Yeah. You know what I mean? Even like, if they mad don't. factors. Even if they don't. Well, I put them in a group city. chat? Like, yo, t- I meet to, each other. I talk, <laughs> to people, I talk to people all the time that don't live in the same city as me. Sure, that but doesn't mean shit. No, it's anybody. I'm just saying, that doesn't living in the same city doesn't mean anything no more. As long as you have a phone, you're in the same city. You have known all your partner's male friends. No is the answer. No, 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 Stop no, no. But, but, the answer is no. But no, no, no. I'm talking. About, but if, if she was the sending them money, if they was no. on that type of level, I would know who to do was. If well, a that chick was sending a nigga money, you think I wouldn't? If my girl, if I had a girlfriend and she sent a dude money and says that's her friend, you think I wouldn't know him? You know what I would think? That I guy think is that fly. That, I think that's possible. <laughs> no, that's not possible. And, and and if it did, then it would be a problem. If I didn't but, know him, I'm like, who is this dude? I'm just sending money yo, to. I'm, I'm gonna hold you. We ain't gonna spend that, that much time on this. I'll I'll take the cycle card on this, but I'm gonna always. Object to that 
I'm not always up. That, that makes zero sense to me. Maybe that's because how how I view money. Which part makes no sense? Money. How means, do you money? Why means nothing is it to you. the? That's how I view money. How do you view money? Let's stay right there. How do you view money? It's not the biggest of deals. Shh, this nigga here, B. Cut it out. You try to return sweats that you wore for two months. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. And, too, and too took sure. Instagram pictures. Yo, the, what, you, yo, you know what's funny? You are not to interpret my actions. You said it. Yo, you told no, the story. No, no, that's true. I did. But it wasn't because I needed the 400. I didn't say you needed it. That's not what I said. It was more so a, a logic, a well thought out, yo, I'm never wearing this stuff again. You might have needed the 400 at the time. Not at that time. Oh, okay. Not at that time. You were up a little bit. I didn't need the 400 at that time. Okay. That was okay. recently. <laughs> it wasn't. It no, wasn't. That was a long time ago. Not really. That was between all that of Lost Rage. I think, it was before you got I think rich, you needed rich. the 400. <laughs> that was 2015. Fam, you were wearing that sweatsuit with those horrible LeBrons you had for six years. You needed the 400. That wasn't the flyest of fits that or, you put everything new together. Or I thought I was styling. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you thought you were styling doing that after two months. Yo, you heard the Jay-Z song that came out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard it. I heard it. He got his shit off. The fuck up. Yeah, he got his shit off. <laughs> I don't uh, like y'all because y'all know Maul ain't never been on time. We just let him say shit. Look, I just said he was he's never been. It. That's not true. Good drink your little healthy drink. <laughs> I told you I was coming in early today. What time I got here too? I used to get here at 2.45, 3. We did. Eating, we, we did seven pods before you got here. Yeah, but that's because you want to tell niggas 12 at 7 in the morning while niggas asleep. Well, no, listen, and I understand that point. So now, like, Parks lives here. Erickson has a raise. I'll just come here. I don't want to in- ever inconvenience you and Rory. Like, it's not about that. I'll if come you... here and just talk about Cheetos and shit. <laughs> like I'll find something to talk about. Yeah, but that's not compelling. Nobody want to hear that shit. If well, we just, if we just, plan... have you ever really got into Cheetos? Listen, I saw a white lady the other day make uh, she put the flaming hot Cheetos in the frying pan, melted it up real good. Yuck. Then poured it. Uh, she put some noodles in there, baked it up, threw some cheese in there, poured it in there, and then she had a uh, flaming hot macaroni and cheese. That actually sounds pretty good. She said it was great. She, I'm not going to try it. She ain't shit for a week. No. Nah, or immediately. Nah, she shit one, immediately. One or the other. I, I think she should immediately. I, when I, I used to eat the flame of that Cheetos, I used to fart like hell. <laughs> yeah, that shit, you ever see what's in that shit? I hate when somebody else notices this a side effect that you're experiencing before you. <laughs> like they noticed. It's usually they, farts. They noticed I was farting. Uh, not necessarily, man. Me and Corey was taking a drive one day. Me and Corey don't even really talk when we're in the car. And he tapped me. He was driving. I was in the passenger seat high as hell. Because y'all are from the street. He tapped me. It was real quick. Shut up, Roy. (laughs) It was real quick. It was like uh, three seconds. Yo, your teeth falling out from that molly. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) And then he kept driving. Oh, like like the time. And I said, oh, word. (laughs) Oh, I got to (laughs) chill. You said his teeth. How you just casually tell you? I got a chill. Yo, <laughs> yo, by the way, your fronts, they missing, my nigga. <laughs> nah, he said, Come on. Yo, your teeth turning turn yellow and you keep grinding your, lock, grinding your jaw up. I think it's that Molly. You better check that. And just kept on, it just kept on I was like, damn, man, thanks. Why none of my other friends <laughs> mentioned that one? Niggas, they noticed my teeth? Yeah, yeah. Yo, remember when... Uh, Blank had that halitosis thing happening. It was, oh it was a big thing in the house to figure out how to tell him. <laughs> Nigga mouth was humming, coming at, ya. Right at you. He, right at you. Right at you, though. Right at you. And he kept talking to us in always our face. Always has secrets. Always has secrets. Man. How do you it's tell always, you? It's always that dude that has that, that want to get real close to your face. Yeah, like, nigga, I don't care about this secret. Get away from me. How man. do you tell your man that? Yo, your Yo, men stinks. suck at talking to men. That's true. Yo, oh, no, you know I've, what it is? I've had, yo, you got that, I've had that conversation. Yo, you got halitosis in the back of your mouth. No, you don't. Nah, you never said no, told your man. Told, yo, you yo, got halitosis, yeah, I think. No, it I've depends said, on who the friend like, is. I've said to a close friend, you have stomach problems. That's not brushing your teeth. Oh, you said that to me two weeks ago. That don't count. That's not the same as no, no, halitosis, about, your breath stink. I'm talking about his breath was crazy. And and that shit coming from your soul. It's coming from your stomach. You smell a difference. I've given you every stick of gum to be the cool friend. It's not working. It's your stomach. Hey, Corey did that shit two weeks ago, too, after you did that. You talking? Yo, Rory's right. Go to the doctor. Is that for real? <laughs> Which, by the way, I didn't like. Uh, he is right. Oh, I hate when Rory's I, right. <laughs> it happens very often. And I hate going to the doctor. Oh, like the little, the, the <laughs> little button hive, like the real, real small niche button hive killed me for pointing that out to you. What could be wrong with him if he's burping? I don't know. He does it every two seconds from his stomach. <laughs> Maybe he should get it checked out. 
Yeah, that they could be a- Like, yo, we just shut the fuck up and just let Joe burp? I'm like, nah, he's my friend. Yeah. I think I, I want to know. I got to change your diet a little niggas something. stupid. Get some tums. <laughs> I think those niggas on the internet be sandy. <laughs> no, I was a let handful him, of people. Burp. <laughs> let him burp. Let him burp. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? No, we like Joe. And uh, uh, another Corey, which I've, Corey story. I've maybe said this, and I'll keep it quick on this podcast. Uh, when you, three of us was driving down to DC and the tire blew the fuck out on my side and sparks were flying everywhere. Corey's I'm idiot. flipping out in the back He's seat and Corey goes, yo, I think you just blew a tire. There's sparks flying. I had my window open. Yeah. <laughs> I'm covered in sparks. You lit a cigarette out the window. <laughs> and the more we talk about it, something is off with this nigga. Because <laughs> wait. You but he said it like, it took a couple seconds. You know how long a couple seconds is? And then is? Rory was in the car being white. He said, OD white. No. It's on fire. <laughs> so I'm in, the, I'm in wherever I'm at. Are you driving? I'm saying, I was driving. You was driving. Corey was in the front oh, see, seat. Oh, that's I was all I know. I'm, me and him can't hang out together, man. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I was driving. Yeah, 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 just let shit. I run. said I should pull over, right? Corey says there's an exit coming. We drove like a mile. <laughs> we drove like a mile. There's with, an exit coming with the tire on fire. Rory panicking back there. Oh, deep panic. We about to blow up. <laughs> right by the gas tank. Then a white dude came and picked us up in a pickup truck, and I was like, I'll go with him, and they were all petrified for my life. Not, not kill, just a white dude. Kill you. He was. That white dude. Yeah, he was going to kill you. <laughs> the one that you see on the news? And we was in West Bubblefuck, Maryland. Like, oh, yeah. not close to D.C. I've seen, I've seen that <laughs> dude in mad movies. The movies are escaping me right now. But you know the white guy with the pickup truck that picks you up on the side of the highway. Any, yeah. any, any movie on Discovery. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, all right. Where would you gentlemen like to begin? 30 minutes in. At least oh, I wow, had to drop this time. Avengers Unite. Is it time? I think it's time. You know it's time. We can let this whole shit rock. Uh. Oh. 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 Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I got to talk over this because I don't own it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you can talk over it. Don't do the ad libs. No, I'm hype. I'm hype. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not even your ad libs. <laughs> All right, y'all can talk over it, too, then. Oh, boy. Yeah, y'all say something cool. <laughs> no. God, God's is talking. Man, listen, turn this down a little bit. Well, not now. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your favorite rapper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Pause it. <laughs> He's 50. Hey, listeners. You knew it was coming. Yeah, just just let us hold Venger for a second. Yeah, just for a little bit. Call us corny. Call us dick riders. We don't care. He's 50. Is he older than 50? Might be 51 now. <clears throat> Listen, I know that Hove loves Nipsey. Like a lot. Mm-hmm. So I didn't think that they would fuck this song up. One. Two. Boy, have. Is this a posthumous release? Posthumous? It is. Posthumous shit has really come a long way. It Can has. you look up the definition this, of that the, exact yeah, word, yeah, Screaming? Word. This, this, after, man. after death, post death. Just post death. Okay. Yeah. Listen, back to rappers analyzing rappers. For the, for the people that don't know out there, that have never put yourself in that frame of mind, when any rapper gets in the booth and starts with Scorpion Bricks, way before every double did for the hill my lap, clap like Woody on the mix. All right, you got a long night coming. A rapper has a long day ahead of him when the verse starts there. Because now you got like, if it's a 16, he got 14 of that left. And, and this ain't a 16. Far past the 16. Turn it up.
Oh boy. I lost all my little. Oh. Hey. Hey. Can't win. Hold up. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. That worked on me. <laughs> that worked. Reasonably so. The whole was born then? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is kind of crazy, though. I mean, it's definitely crazy when he words it that way. They're going to call me a dick rider. Go ahead. You can never be the big stepper now. They killed me already, though. Listen, on one of them podcasts, I said something that I'm sure sounded crazy, like, like Hove is a different variation of some of the whatever he's doing right here i said it before and got killed for it understandably so if you don't view it like that then you wouldn't view it like that Wait, what, what do you mean all of the shit that he's saying here uh uh i arrived on the day fred hampton got murked uh big step in the jet with my legs crossed i gave this my niggas came from home i did better he getting on his he getting his activist back right now mm-hmm. like so i've said that like in 2021 what do when we watching all them old docs, uh, what Sam Cooke did, Fred Hampton did, uh, the, the the one is one coming soon. Uh, this mad at those, but what does mm-hmm. what does that man look like today? Even the one night in Miami shit with all those gentlemen fighting for whatever they fought for. What does that guy look like today under today's rules, today's standards, today's government, today's laws, today's everything? And for me, with music playing such a huge part in everything, politics, Wall Street, like. Yeah, yeah. It's but, not that. It's not done like that. But the fight is the same, and the merit is the same, and the words are the same. I take the words. Listen, I, I've said here before, like back in the days when niggas had to escape the Underground Railroad, niggas had to speak in the songs and put shit in like that. That's still happening. It's just the 2021 version of that. Sure, yeah, so like if Hope don't do this, like who does it? If Kendrick don't do that, then who does it? Uh, who does it? I can't. Even, uh, no, I, this I is totally, the one conversation where Drake name can't even come up, mm. which I think he's he's admitted and would say the same thing. But of course, I'm, I'm saying who would say that point is wrong? A bunch of people, because this guy's a rapper. Rapper is to when you when you put the term rapper on somebody is to minimize them. But Hove has actions outside of rap that have nothing to do with rap that are in the activist bag. Hove for the last however many years of his career has been telling us that none of that shit matters because I'm a nigga still. <laughs> mm-hmm. He just has his own version of that. That shit LeBron experienced with the shut up and play ball, mm-hmm. Hove would never because he'd been experienced that. He'd been tried to buy art in 01 that he couldn't get. He tried to, him and B, get the crib in 03 and lost it to the nigga that made mind games or whatever. Like He's had different experiences with that. So it's the same fight, just... Different level. I like when he does this shit. He's I been hyped. But Jay's been on this for I a, while, a few years this. now. And this is this goes back to a conversation we had when I said, to me personally, Jay is just as important or just as strong as Malcolm was. And I say that because when you're a rapper, you have people's attention. And you have the audience. You have the ears. Mm-hmm. And if you have the ears, then you can gain the minds. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just because we put it over a drum and a snare and keys and all of that and a sample you take all that away and just listen to the message and what he's saying mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying it's, it, and to me that's why it's more important because of the hip hop generation is so strong hip hop globally is the biggest is the it's biggest bigger than genre music. on the it's planet than music. so sure. when you have a guy as, as intelligent and knows how to put words together the way Jay does mm-hmm. that's when I said made the comparison to Malcolm mm. Maul's absolutely right and yet all that shit don't mean nothing Wait, he knows that. It don't mean a thing. Like, I think when it, it was the What's Free verse that came out where I hit him. And I said, dog, you bugging. <laughs> and he called me and we spoke. And I said, yeah, why you ain't should have been to giving us these gems or whatever the song was. And he was like, I've been doing this for 15 years. Hmm. Putting shit in there. If they don't pick it up, they don't pick it up. Mm-hmm. Deeper than the words, Maul, last week I was like, yo, I said, the nerve of y'all, man. The fucking, for niggas that never tried to sell something, to try and sell something. And then Rory, 
had a strong rebut, which was, yo, we was, we, the nigga, I sold parties. I did, I did my thing. He's right. But in my head, boy, do I know the difference in trying to sell somebody a good time and selling somebody something that they don't want to hear while they're on their way to work. Right? Mm -hmm. So for me, that's where hove is important. Because yes, the words are there. But you, you kind of have to know, if you don't know his fight, then you won't respect the, like that president of the Def Jam shit, that shit was big. Yeah. It was big. It showed that a rapper could do it. I know we make mm -hmm. the Rock Nation brunch jokes, but there is a Rock Nation. That's a big thing. They killed him for title. I know. I know. I understand why. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. This stuff is a big thing. It's because they feel thing. like we're not, supposed to, we're not supposed to step foot in those rooms in those spaces. Yeah. And that's why he said on the record, he was like, I'm the one that they fear in the room right now. It's because they know, like, once a guy like him is at these in these meetings and in these rooms, it's like it's only a matter of time before there's more. Mm -hmm. And then what happens then? You know what I'm saying? Once we realize, like, oh, we really have all of the power. Right. We just have to organize. We don't have organization. That's what we like. Organization. That's all it is. We have the we have the capital. We have the money. We have the voices. We have the people. We have the intelligence. We have the creativity. Influence. We have the influence. We have everything except organization. We just won't come together on one collective thing. Like his fight always is encompassing of things far greater than hip hop. Hmm. So if you just in hip hop and you viewing it from just that lens, then I mean, you just, you're not, I don't know. You, you're not, you're not going to get it. Like, I don't know somebody else who could say some of this stuff with the, in the cadence, with the cadence that he says it and it come off the same way. Like, I appreciate er, early Hove just used to come in and tell us all the shit that we was doing that was whack. Oh, you niggas was wearing Tim's, you niggas sipping mo, you niggas is you driving what? You're like, mm -hmm. you wearing what chain? A cross? Like, just mm -hmm. whatever. But in his defense, too, he, he sprinkled this stuff in there. Like, the Funk Flex freestyle that we love, yeah, he's telling us that he's better than us. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to it, there's a lot of what he's saying in here in that freestyle. Mm hmm it just was overshadowed because we were focused on the rich punchlines. He's not today. It's no sprinkling. Yes, it's straight to the it point. It is straight to the point. Straight to mm -hmm. the point. Not just me, but my wife, who's the greatest ever. It's anything our production, anything we touch. You want her in the cover? You want me in the cover? Go hire some black people. Go do that. It's just it's just bigger than the, it's it's just bigger than the music, and I appreciate it. Is all. I don't want to dick ride too much, but nah, that shit is beautiful. This shit is beautiful. Nip sounded great. Because when you do shit like this, not to cut you off, yeah. when you do shit like this, like you, I find joy, right? And sometimes I post some of our little skits that we do on Instagram. Uh -huh. And yeah, the fans see it and they, they clown us and get the clan of money bags or they have their jokes or whatever. But I smile inside because they see it too. Amazon sees it. Apple sees it. Netflix sees it. Sirius sees it. Whoever you want to name, Showtime, they all see it. Uh -huh. So, yeah, he killed this verse on some rap shit. But I know the ears that are listening to this verse, it's a different set of ears. So I love this just prideful ego. like, And yet y'all talking tough to me. Like, I just love it. I just love it. And you have to have accomplished enough to be able to do it. I'm done with my dick riding. I really, I'm re <laughs> I really, really, really appreciate this. I did not text Hov. I didn't reach out because the last six verses have been this. Yeah. Well, no, I just I like the action. It's great that a fifty-one-year-old could rap better than everyone. Period. But yeah. I like the action outside of the the rap shit. Of course, like everything he's talking about, his focus has not been hip hop in however many years. There's action behind all these words. Shout out to Mike. This ain't, this ain't just rapping anymore. Shout out to Mike and Keys and uh, Rants from fifteen hundred nothing on the production. For team. sure. What a beat. They crushed. Uh, Fonteroy too. Shout out James Fonteroy. What yeah. a beat! I think Ali mixed it. Shout out to Ali. Oh, they had all star. They just had an all star crew. Yeah, no, but I mean that honestly, that was Nipsey's <clears throat> click too, though. It was yeah. like all that minus Hove is a regular Nipsey. That's on Crenshaw. Yeah. You could get all that. Mm -hmm. Like that's who Nipsey ran with. Mm -hmm. So that just shows the genius of both sides of Nipsey and fifteen hundred. Yeah, but it's not showing the genius of y'all. They left it there. That, that bar went Look, y'all still want to keep talking about the song, right? <laughs> <laughs> y'all still talking music? Yeah. 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 Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's get to the end of this bad boy. Uh-huh. 
They left it right there for Parks, Rory, Maul, Savon. Alex, you look like you should have bars. Somebody, Erickson, <laughs> come bachata, do something, nigga. Come on, what's up? <laughs> uh, I would never tell I'll leave that alone. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, let me tell him my side of things. <laughs> Say, man, how you come on? Yo, these niggas just sent me to the store. <laughs> uh, they think it's about pizza. And, yo, hold on. Let me, it's it's time really to get, about more. They treat, it, yeah, they treat me like, it's like I'm a gun. They try. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're not dissing Nas on a whole no, release no, no, day. No, 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 no. We're not doing it. It's just I funny love Nas too much. Nah, it's just funny because when Nas did that, hey. niggas, niggas was glued. Niggas was like, wait, he, he's a gun? He's a gun. <laughs> no, that's not that, Rory. Rory that's me, wanna, that's me. Oh, look at y'all. Y'all really trying to get Freddy. Y'all trying to get an EP out. Oh, Parks looped it. Don't play, 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 play This is how play. OLS3 play. came out. Hey, one, two. Don't let Joe get into it. Parks got it looped already. Play your loop. man. I'm fading out. What you gonna do? Joe, you ain't doing nothing with uh, that. Just sit down. You ain't doing nothing uh, with that. Parks, unloop uh, that. He ain't yeah, doing yeah, nothing with that. Joey, uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, hey, yo, unloop uh, that. He ain't touching yeah. that. Uh, nah, you ain't Delete now. that. Delete that. He ain't Wait, touching turn it down that. a little bit. Turn it down. I, I don't that. know if... <laughs> we're having a blast in here. <laughs> I don't know if this is entertaining for <laughs> the listeners. <laughs> oh, man, I could do this for three hours. Oh, yeah. Easily. <laughs> easily. Easily. Park. Listen, uh, Joey uh, got a couple mil, uh, but I struggle still. Uh, no, uh, yeah. still know how to bubble fill. Uh, uh, talk to still when I come. <laughs> <laughs> I still know how to bubble fill. <laughs> I still know how to bubble fill. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I still know how to bubble yeah, fill. Yeah, yeah. When I tuck the score. <laughs> I know how to bubble feel when I tuck the steel. <laughs> this nigga is crazy, man. I still know how to just, bubble Just stay retired. When I tuck the steel. <laughs> These niggas told my Fred Hampton, taxes, the IRS. This nigga told him about the steel. He talking about the bubble. <laughs> this nigga's crazy, man. I'm pausing, by the way. I was going to say, keep let it rock. Everybody need a everybody need a verse. I that right there, no. You gotta leave that alone, man. Mm. And we're back. Joe is off the floor. <laughs> yeah, man. Special. That's what that's what music is supposed to do. That's a moment. Yeah. I was waiting for Scream, Scream Man to spit something. He does well. Not when Clef's around, though. <laughs> I so forgot. I Clef's forgot around? about that. Yeah, not when Clef's around. I forgot around. y'all got sung by mm. by Young Clef. Mm. <laughs> I ain't Fuck. been the same since. <laughs> Fuck been terrified that's of carnivals. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. That's yeah. usually I how gotta happens. hit him. Come on, Scream. When Clef came to the cypher, uh-huh. ain't expect that one. Mm, scream, man. That's Ever probably- since a teen, man. Mm. I've been serving them fiends, man. <laughs> Yo, get Rory in the booth. We are, we are here now. Uh, scream, man. Been serving the fiends, man. How they don't understand what I mean, man. <laughs> Uh, what you did? What you giving them? Yellow car heart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you giving them? Because all I need turn down a little bit, turn down a little bit. I only ever need to know where the verse is going. Like, just give me what your, what your content is oh, yeah. about. Oh, okay, got and you. We can get it there. Uh, uh, it's kind of like filling in the lines. It's kind of like filling in the lines. Once you know what a nigga really about, filling the lines, filling the blanks. Uh. Screaming, yo, am I the A mic or B mic? Mm-hmm. Uh, Savon know what it be like. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Uh, yeah. Right, Sam. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, tired of working the TV. I do all of the work. You gotta see me. Uh, uh, and I'm pressing up CDs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on wonder like TV. Uh, these niggas don't believe me. I can't believe rap uh, took over the world like this. Look, look how niggas come up with uh, <laughs> like You sitting around. Uh, uh, and I'll be sitting on the side chilling. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold up, man. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Chill, yo. Too much sauce? Chill, uh, you know what I mean? It's too much for them. Yo, tell me, this beat is just going to make you rap. If the, be- if the beat stays on. <laughs> you just going, rap the whole podcast. You're just going to rap. Yeah. They, they left it there for somebody to rap, though. Yeah. Now, they, that was a who's, dare. Who's going to step up? 
Hopefully nobody. nobody. Some of y'all yeah, should nobody. Know what what'd Drake say, Rory? <laughs> what Drake, oh, what Drake said? Nah, Drake got that line off because that was a thing when rappers used to intentionally leave beat at the end just yeah. to try to test other rappers. That doesn't happen anymore except for this song. When Drake, I think it was a draft day when he, when he yeah, said, I left some beat. So y'all can loop it and get your lies off. Yeah, I, I left some beat at the end so your rappers could loop it and, Yo. get, and get your lies off. Yeah. This was such a, pre- uh, this is such a, this was such a premier performance of just like vocal athletics that they dared you with the beat. Mm-hmm. You beat it. What will you do to this? Which, yeah. brought, which brought me back to when rappers left a little beat on the end for y'all mm-hmm. to see what you would do with it. And what rappers are there today that you leaving the beat there for? Like, they left the beat there right, right now, and who's coming? Remember when you used to could depend on Fab to come out with some recent time metaphors, mm-hmm. bars, mm-hmm. me? Yeah, and Joe, Joe Budden used to do that a lot. Like, Royce, that was, that was Banks. A, that was there a regular rapper. There was thing. a crew of guys that... 50 would do it. ...that mm-hmm. never... There's no list for just those guys, but there was a crew of guys that if you left beat on there, it's coming. You knew what yeah. they were doing, yeah. Who's that now? I don't know if that exists anymore too much. That's the only a mistake. person I ever really see do it is Dave East. You know and, what? It, and that's a streaming thing now. Yeah, I was about to all, say, all I think artists are on, on streaming where you have to clear everything and you yeah. can't just put out that freestyle yeah. because everyone's on streaming and you did the freestyle shit because we was all on. The radio, YouTube, right, right. SoundCloud, or like mm-hmm. whatever all that shit was. Yeah. Doesn't exist. Well, it exists, but it's not where the people are. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. just not became a thing. So I wish they would do that more. Yeah, it's definitely not a thing anymore, though. Yeah. And that's because rappers are not incentivized to do it. Right. Like, like me said, personally, I couldn't. I couldn't streaming. wait to get the Sycamore CD with all the instrumentals. Mm-hmm. Like he would yeah, have. Them. He would have that shit out the, the week any any songs came J-Arms. out. Arms. You yeah, shout all instrumental. J Arms, shout J Arms. Yeah, whatever Sycamore didn't have, J Arms gonna have for sure. And shout out to Sycamore and just the amazing job that he's done. Yeah, his journey has and, been yeah, dope yeah, to watch in the industry. Sure, and he's just a good dude. Like yeah, I love yeah. when, when no. good dudes do well. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to Sycamore. Absolutely. Um, and and one of the, the true A and Rs I think that are left. Oh yeah, like what A and Rs used yeah. to be and yeah. what their actual job was mm-hmm. yeah. and artist development. Sycamore does for me. Absolutely, I, I think that's one of the people. And you think producers even make beats with that in mind anymore? What do you mean? This is going to become a freestyle classic oh. for mad rappers. We're going to make a song here. Nah, because we but don't I see know that in no my more. head, this is going to be... We don't get freestyles every- like that. I nah. will say that Tim producers Martin, nah. are more sheltered with their instrumentals than they used to be, too. Absolutely. Um, I agree with Rory. You're right. It's fact. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's an urban legend. Similar event did take place. You're right. It's like the third verse. You were right. Our research found a published legend. report of a similar story. <laughs> yes, it was. A similar story yes. happened to a young man in the Pacific Northwest. About years. <laughs> in the Pacific <laughs> Northwest. A similar event took place. What Russell Wilson was doing. <laughs> You're right again. You're right again. In the Pacific similar Northwest. Story you know what that's Don't act like he wasn't in Portland with Antifa. It happened. <laughs> that's about parks. It happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened. This one took place. This one took A similar place. story occurred in the state of New Jersey about 20 years ago. <laughs> I didn't know there was a second half. There's a retort. Yeah, well, that, was just, that was part of the show. Well, if there was a false, there was a yeah, true. Yeah, Man. absolutely. You were right. You were right. It happened. A so similar the, story took place. In the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> All right, what else we got, man? Oh, Lucky Day uh, Lucky Day EP today. Oh, yeah? Well, tomorrow, because yeah. today's Thursday, but today. And we haven't. A surprise? Haven't heard it, so I don't know. Actually, I have it in my email. I could really just listen to it right now. <laughs> Do that. Well, actually, when this comes out, but when people do that, like somebody sent it to me on the strength, they was like, "Yo, man, a week, a week early," and I'm like, "Yeah, it's there." But the music consumer, I am, I'm gonna download this from you, and when it drops, I'm gonna buy it. Then I'm gonna be annoyed that there's two of them in there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I chill out. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna wait for Lucky Day to drop, and I'm buying it. Oh, I see the McQueen collar up. I didn't do that with mine. Table for two. Well, he has sauce. You don't. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, if you're gonna send links, send like a streamable one too. Because I hate when I have to go download it and then, like you said, put it in the phone. It gets complicated. Send me like a yeah. private SoundCloud or something. Yeah, it's true. Table for two EP. I can't wait to hear what this is like right before Valentine's Day weekend. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. I think Drake is dropping. Well, why do you say that? I just think he is. Because certified lover boy would make sense now? Absolutely. Drake ain't Beyonce. He ain't doing that. He ain't yeah. Beyonce. What that mean? Drake can one thousand percent. Just put <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What yeah. that mean? Tell me what you mean by that. And he's <laughs> been promoting the shit out of it, so it's not like it's a, a surprise. 
Only here do I get these, this type of resistance. He changed his haircut. You can't he's say been promoted. Drake ain't Beyonce. <laughs> no, he's not Beyonce. Is yes, Drake Beyonce? But, then why am I getting resistance? But what does that mean? Because we we but, all speak the same language. Is, we know is, what you was trying to say. Is Drake Beyonce? Drake no, can absolutely. He is Drake, and Beyonce is Beyonce. Right. That's They're true. Just so two then why different am I, human beings. So then why are you fighting with me? Because, I said, I, because I said, you, this is uh, fact. Hold on. No, what do you mean by it? Right, Tell right, me what right, you no, mean no, by no, it. You got it. Because Joe is semantic. Yeah, he's You were talking me. about just yeah. dropping an album at a yeah. number. Yeah, what, what do you mean by it? Tell me what you mean by it. You're right. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> tell me what you mean by it. I'm right. Yeah, you are. Yeah. But tell me what you mean by that, though. What I mean is, you and I were sitting down in Sin City, just chilling out. Eating, eating cake or some bullshit mm. when a Beyonce album dropped at midnight that nobody in the world had a clue about. Uh. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I don't think Drake would do that. Drake would but, send out. Drake didn't would. Didn't he do but he's, one of them? he's been. No, he has not. No, no. He's always, well, say, if you're um, reading this, yeah, it's too late. Reading, drop yeah. that exact way. No, yeah. no way. He was. He was tweeting up a storm. He was dropping well, he's, mad hints. Well, it's, it was it's, mad clue. Well, he, hey, also hey, announced hey, this. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait a second. What I'm saying this isn't a surprise. And Rory, we were insiders back then. You pulled me to the side, tapped me, yo, dog. That was back when Drake liked us. I think. Rory tapped me on the side one night before Melody. Yo, dog, I think a Drake joint is dropping tonight. Like people knew, but in like an hour later, it dropped. That was because I think Elliot had gotten hold of that album cover, if I remember correctly. Like it was a surprise album. All right, well, speaking for me, it wasn't surprise. I knew it was coming. I knew he was working on something. It wasn't surprise. You guys were Beyonce dropped, nigga, the world. Stop because we didn't know. I'm not that saying that. That was the best I'm not saying that they're so time. I'm not saying that they're so different in what they do. Right. I'm saying in how they do it, nobody knew. And I think Drake would send a tweet at scary hours. Like he would just say something, is all I'm saying. Maybe. He has he has been. I don't think he would drop tonight and not a tweet come out. It well, would be well, a new version of the it. heart shape up in his head. Something he would give a clue. Like Beyonce later started giving clues. Like when Lemonade was coming. She she but was giving you lemonade for was, like a year. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that, that was didn't so happen. out of context. But that didn't happen. Didn't know what it meant. The Sin City night. What mm -hmm. album was that in Sin City? The Beyonce album. Beyonce. Beyonce. It's Fam. called Beyonce. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. No, if you think about come like on, the man. things they couldn't keep a secret, like landing on the moon and the CIA and the mob killing JFK, but they like kept a Beyonce <laughs> album. Like that's the power of Beyonce. <laughs> I just see yeah. shit like this, like the State Farm commercial for Super Bowl and all of that. I, Drake I'm, is calculated. I'm with them all. He's calculated. Like the heart, the certified lover boy is so Valentine's Day. He's he's this is subtle shit that I think this is his new way of like I'm I'm back outside and everybody got I would come. love to be wrong here, by the way. Yeah. Like it if, makes if, sense. if he put some shit out tomorrow night and nobody knew a thing. I think if this is this is the it perfect. Did he say February all up now? More got me to thinking. He, More, uh, I was he not coming in here to discuss Aubrey. But why not? Scorpion Bricks, we way before it. Aubrey Double Disc, 40 Ho on my lap, Maybe that was a clap hit. light, Hove, 40 Hove, on the mix. Hove, opened Hove the first. is on the new Drake album. What, what was you doing with this beat? You were scared of this beat, wasn't you? Too happy for me. This beat was hard. Uh, yo, my depression, yet another <laughs> session. <laughs> uh, here go life teaching me lessons. <laughs> God, I'm looking for a blessing. See, if Joe was smart uh, right now, I had the Westin after Drake at the Westin. I mean, yo, I had the Westin. I had the Westin at the Westin. Never mind. Never Joe don't even know. Alex Field, Joe don't even. He don't even know. He don't even know how. I nah, there'd be a lot of us. I'm, I'm leaving the game. I'm leaving the game. Joe Wack though, because if he was smart <laughs> after after Drake dropped Certified Lover Boy, Joe should drop Certified Depressed Boy. <laughs> yeah. We have oh, things you know to talk saying? about. Y'all don't really get to, your shit off. Y'all are then, digging hey, deep in yeah. your pod souls for the love. content. And, and this nigga in love. I'm in a tub full of blood, <laughs> wrist open. Nick, you gonna say shit like this? <laughs> and mean? then after certified depressed boy, certified suppressed boy, you know what I'm saying? Wrist open, yeah. whole tub wrist open. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pills floating, <laughs> wrist open. <laughs> When you get to the pills floating in the tub, nigga. And I, when I follow oh, that man. with uh, <laughs> with the Adderall, I can't be mad at y'all. <laughs> With the Adderall, uh -uh. I ain't mad at y'all. I so had the ball. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a mega ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, can you turn these beats off? Turn the beats off. <laughs> get into that. Yo, Patreon got you yeah, niggas, man. Bugging. Get into that type <laughs> of shit. Turn it off. Y'all are so stupid, man. I'm telling oh, you, man. man. Nah, but I, it would make sense, though. <laughs> Sweetie's having a sleepover tomorrow night. 
Oh, I'm there. <laughs> oh, hope there's a live stream. Oh, I see That's why, what it is. <laughs> I see why Joe wanted us to record a today. Galentine's Day sleepover. <laughs> Makes sense. Galentine's? The Galentine's. Oh, man, it's going to be fucking lit. 7 p.m. Are they streaming that? Yeah, 7 p.m. on IG Live. Oh, Come my. dress to impress. Man. I'm coming, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Galentine's? Yeah. I like that. See, I like little things like that. No what I don't like about you? What you don't like about me? <laughs> I'm going to expose you. No, he said, she said no boys allowed. Okay, I'm a man, so that's good. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't identify as a boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> this is what I don't like about more, y'all. Wait, is this a subliminal diss at Drake with the heart and the boy in there? Mm. I think Drake is secretly DMing every rapper's girl with like nah, allegedly hell, allegedly with, hell, they can't do that oh please that shit that's easy to get out there Yo, love get your there. new record oh maybe that yeah but not like no, that's, a good one. that's a good one I thought you meant alright alright now I'm gonna land now I'm gonna land now I'm gonna just leave but we know let y'all talk I'm shutting up I don't wanna step on any of my co-host's points <laughs> no, no, no. right now but hold on but Start. that's that's. but we he we know he does he does that what's the name Um, didn't what's the name just post that Some yeah, yeah. like we know he, he's doing that yeah. He but I don't think that's nah, a shot. I just like the song. Nah, man. I don't he think like the song. Shot. It's a light shot, but it's a shot. And, and then and then Drake so, and Mo right, so took her shot. all around Toronto yeah, for her show. So everything is a shot. Kinda. Okay. All right. All right. All right. If everything's a shot, then y'all. Well, answer right. me this. Are they fine? The girls that he's Yeah, allegedly. Potentially. Well, some was some was attractive. Yeah. That's yeah. hey, a shot. Mo. And no disrespect to Mo, Of course not. Man. She's pregnant. Remember, man, remember. Hmm? My son came up to me. I said, yo, tell your man to tread lightly. Nah, no, no, no. it's all love. No disrespect. I'm joking. That's like, a joke. I like I'm joking. London a lot. I know London's a really good dude. No, London, I, I fuck. London did my I never met him per- No, I never met him. I never met him personally, <laughs> but I fuck with him. No, nah, he's, really he's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. I sure. never met him personally, but I fuck with him. <laughs> and that was all a joke, gossipy people. That was a joke. Yeah. Respectfully. Why are y'all laughing? I'm laughing because who knew the trouble a theme song could do? <laughs> oh, oh, that's some, that's some other shit. I, I ain't in that. I ain't got nothing. Yeah, I that. London t- play some tune my next month was hell. Was hell? Yo. <laughs> Yo, y'all thought y'all thought Joe started loving everyone now that he got like more famous and rich. Yo. Now that Karen is on his team, mm. it's deep. You gonna be hanging oh, with I with all I see with every did. rapper. Yo, now nah, he's he a did. yo. Ka- yo, Karen introduced did. me to such and such. He's the nicest guy ever. <laughs> He's the sweetest guy. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> to piggyback off of r- what Rory is saying. And let me rephrase that. You want Karen's team. <laughs> she ain't on your team. We're all, we've all been added. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't even know. We've all yeah, been No, added. that's Karen's squad. I like Karen because she introduces me to shit that should be happening with your fame that I never knew could happen. Like, she sent me a picture right before the Super Bowl started. Hats? And it was a cardboard cutout of, of her. At the, at the Super Bowl. That's hard. And I said, that's hard. Who knew that they were... And then the Super Bowl came on, and they said, hey, look at all these cardboard. I said, dad, damn, Karen is good. She is. I think that was like She's $100, good. Yeah, She's $100 the for that. She's good. Yeah, I don't think she paid. I doubt Karen paid. Oh, I'm not saying like she Karen I, know, is, I know you could pay and she, they would put up there. She's, oh, shit, look at her. Yo, we ain't, we got to talk about it. You know what? Where's my phone at? Let's call Karen right now. <laughs> Where's my phone? No, no, no. I had enough of Karen, who are me? Of Karen looking good. Why is she going to curse me up? <laughs> enough of this Karen looking like a baddie. <laughs> Shit. HR, Joe. HR. <laughs> I need to be like Ross. <laughs> See, if Ross, would you ever hire any women? Nah, I'm going to want to I'm I'm fuck the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That was the funniest to, part ever. Shout out to Ross. Is that it? it? <laughs> no, he said it. I'm about to say that was like almost a direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> he said that shit. Let's see what's going on up in this piece. Mm-hmm. Banged on you. She too busy for you. Yeah. Peasant. Now I'm just now I'm a FaceTime. Not the FaceTime. <laughs> Hey. Karen Civil, this is Joe Budden live from the Joe Budden podcast. Please don't say anything to incriminate myself or yourself. How are you? Okay. I'm amazing. Good. I was talking about you just now. What were you saying? 
Uh, you're amazing. I'm sure. I'm sure I was saying. Where the I'm, fuck is Maul at? <laughs> oh, she want that video now. <laughs> I wasn't calling about that, but there's Maul. What up? Yeah, I bet. Pedicure. You got manicure, right? Said- Basquiat's in the background. But you don't want you, you can't you can't give me what I asked for. I'm getting oh, it done. I'm getting asleep. it done before I leave. Like I said, you did get a manicure. We, we part of Karen's I'm get, team. I'm getting now. it done before I leave. Before yeah. I leave, I got you. I'll send so it to you. That's right, Rory. I got one for you. Don't worry, Rory. I got one coming up for you too. All right, Karen, Karen, listen, we, this is all the time. No, Karen. we called you. You can't press us. We apologize. I apologize. Hey guys, what's going on? And this this proves my point, Karen. I just said before you got on the phone that we joined your team, not the other way around. He did say that. He did say that. (laughs) Karen, listen to this. This is what I called you for. We was talking about Mm -hmm. you, and Screen Man pulled up these pictures. Hold up, these pictures of you. You can't see them, but they're on our screen. And then I said we never Mm -hmm. really took time to appreciate like your baddiness, like. I think this goes against all HR codes, so I'm gonna not, not participate in Karen. You don't even. I think you look great. You don't even have an HR department, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Keep. Can't Karen. <laughs> it's a bunch of my friends hitting me on the side, like, "Yo, have you seen Karen lately?" I'm like, "No, I only look in her eyes." <laughs> but now that I'm looking, man, oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, oh, no, that's that good ethical. Right oh, there. shit, I got to scroll down further on Karen. Yeah, that's IG. that good ethical. Karen, how do you feel about that, man? How do you feel about, like, this? I'm, you know, I'm I'm, feel, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm feeling good. You know, you had to, you had to set a tone for, for 2021. We yeah. were inside all day, you know, just, just showing the accoutrements, the different aesthetics, the style nah. with it. You can wear clothes in different ways. Nah, listen, I'm having fun with it. Damn it, you're doing it, doing what you're doing. You're doing it to me. I picked you up. Oh. <laughs> It's from this a song. Not, yeah. It's a song. No. I know exactly. I it's song a is. song. <laughs> All right, Valentine's Day, Karen. What's happening? Um, hey, uh, hey, say less. Say less. You know That's what? It. Could I actually? You know what? I want to circle back. Listen, I want to circle back afterwards and tell you about my Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, something like. I don't want people yeah, to hear yeah, anything man. now. Nah, no, 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 I'm no. I'm with you there. No, yep. light is an ulcer. Listen, light is an ulcer. What I'm doing is giving heavy. It's giving heavy. What we got going on is heavy. So oh, I want to, you know, I know people are taking notes and everything else. Mm. So it's just, Everyone I just, I just want to hit y'all with it. Like, oh, that's what she did? That's what she I did? See, I ain't get the Karen level yet, like. Like the Versace nah, but, robe, but I bought, I bought life. He probably wouldn't work on Karen. <laughs> what I want to show for Valentine's so Day, much. though, is not so just much. for women. That's the most say. important part. It's is just what? showcasing love. I, it's I want people to see, like, for my Valentine's Day, I may tape a bit of it, and people will get to see. But it's not just for women. You're showcasing the love you have for one another. Obviously, you do that. <laughs> but no, but it's just like no, but but it's, I'm saying Valentine's Day is not just for not just for women. He's not getting a basket of Gatorade. Uh, you know, got he's, it, got not, it, got he's it. not got getting it. like yeah. It's gonna be he's gonna be like oh snap. You thought about me too. Like Valentine's Day is gonna be for him as well. So it's gonna be nice. I love that. Before I let you go, I do have a question for you because I've, mm-hmm. I've been having this fight behind the scenes. So I'll ask you. Can you tell me mm-hmm. what day sweetest day falls on? Oh, that's that's that day that you're supposed to celebrate men or something, right? <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Don't Do you know it. when it is? Yeah. <laughs> no, or is that the day for like your girlfriends who's not like your wife or something? No, sweetest sweetest, sweetest day? day is supposed to be our our version of Valentine's Day. Do you know when it is? Not. Nah. The, the nah, uh, nah. No, the look, nah, no, February, no, February 14th. I don't know. Since when we don't share? No, our shit, is, our shit is in October. <laughs> really? O- October uh, 15th, third Saturday in October, something like that. That's crazy. It's on a right Saturday. Before, right before Halloween on some hell shit, huh? Yeah, like that was a trick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Right, listen, well, I Karen, guess I just found out that my birthday was supposed February to be for me. Four, February 14th. Girl it's the like same that. day we celebrate it together. You celebrate love, one another. You pour into each other. It's that type of vibe. Ladies, get your man something nice. And I'm not talking from the Walgreens aisle. I don't mm. like it. 
I don't like it. Broke bitches. I don't like it. <laughs> Say like shit, that shit, like that type of Yeah, broke. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Like, oh my, oh my gosh, look what he got me. What you get him? Mm. So we gotta like Some bars going on pour into know. each other. Big stepper on the jet with my legs crossed. I respect it. You yes. know. All right, I'm cool. Yeah, anybody Maul. who's dating, anybody who's dating, Maul over here. We already know. Pay. Make sure you go to to what is it? Daniel's leather in New York. Get him right. <laughs> <laughs> We already know. We already know. Okay, Rory, why keep trying to put me in leather? What's up with you? <laughs> we already know. Rory wants some like some expensive mm, food or like caviar or something. Expensive, kid. Expensive, kid. Yeah, expensive. A cashmere, already, right? cashmere white shirt. Cashmere I'm, I'm wearing cashmere sweats. Thank you for noticing. All yeah, right. see, I knew it. Back to work. I can't play with Karen over here. Back, okay. back to work. Oh. We love you. Put put it on mall one more time, please. Pause. Whoa, hey yo, I got you. I don't need to pause. That's not for me. I got you. I'm not. As soon as I'm done, mall. I got you. All right, man. Because I'm gonna pay for one of them. I'm gonna pay for one of them Patreons just to yell at you. Nah, I'm gonna, I got. <laughs> I'm gonna get it done for you. Hey, I, got you. I, won't. I got you. Thank you, Karen. We right, love you. Bye. You. Bye. Sweetest fucking day. Yeah, that's the fight I'm having outside with women saying, "Yo, y'all day isn't." I said, "When is it?" I've never even heard of that. Google it. It's in October. October. It's in October. I ain't get shit. I've never heard of it. Sweetest day is our version of Valentine's Day, according to the women. Apparently, from what I'm reading. When did this happen? When did this happen? It's not even a date. It's just the third Saturday. The third Saturday Saturday in October. This started in 1921 in Cleveland, Ohio. Sweetest day in parts of the United United States. (laughs) You got to go to Cleveland to get it. Celebrate candy and your loved ones on sweetest day. No, bitch. I'm not a loved one. I'm daddy. Mm. (laughs) Big Daddy. <laughs> and all you're going to do is holiday. buy me Skittles? The unofficial holiday was bullshit. started in 1921 in Cleveland, Ohio, as a way to encourage women to treat their male romantic partners with sweets and candy. Sweets and candy? You better take your ass to the Louis store like I do. Nah, you're getting sweets and <laughs> they candy. They don't sell sweets in there. Sweets and candy on October in October before Halloween is fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's fucked up. Just go trick or treat, Duke. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. telling us to go trick or treat it's before like Halloween. The flowers when it's yeah, raining. Like, yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Yo, we just don't get no respect, man. We don't no, get no respect. And they take the leftover candy and give it to the kids. And it's October twentieth, so eleven days before Halloween. Sick. So they're giving the kids rotten candy. Yeah. <laughs> This is hilarious. And to anybody who's been trying to purchase a Valentine's Day gift from Louis Vuitton. I went over there, and because of the holiday season, I'm I'm assuming in the mall, they had like personal shoppers in the store. Like you wait in the line, and then when you get in there, a white lady in a black suit comes up to you and says, "Hey, so happy to have you. How much money do you have? I have to be in every room that you're shopping in. We have to be together the entire time." Is that all right with you? Hope it doesn't bother you. No, uh, white lady in the black suit. Come on, follow me and Corey in there. I know Corey <laughs> looks like a felon already, and we didn't dress for this occasion, but we're here now. And boy, was she the most annoying woman in the world. Mm. I didn't buy shit in here. I'm out, I left. Get out of here. It's annoying. White people following me around. I don't like uh, pushy salespeople in stores. She wasn't general. pushy. She wanted to small talk to death. Hey, if you need anything, I'm right over here. And don't forget, but because it's the holidays, we have our Tiffany 18 karat gold, such and such, right by the red. Fam, I'm not here for none of that shit. I'm window shopping. <laughs> I don't need you. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, but back to Maul real quick because I spent too much time on this. I called Maul. So, yeah, man. Valentine's Day, I'm going hard. Maul get his jokes off. Don't worry, I'm gonna call you on Sunday. Cool, Maul, but, but what you got going on? Nothing. It's not what he said. I don't have anything going on. But that's not what you said. Yeah, but I don't have anything going on. But if you did have something going on, tell 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 the rest of the room. What you might have had going on? Oh, maybe like a little spa, spa resort date type of thing. Oh, nice. okay. Hypothetically, or there's a there's a woman in mind that's already scheduled because those things, especially with COVID and on Valentine's yeah, Day, COVID you have to schedule pretty far day. in advance. Yeah, no, nah, it's not happening. I don't know if I'm getting a COVID. Did hot she though. not happen, or did the spa not happen? No, the spa didn't happen. So what are you and her gonna do? I'm not doing anything. So you, you and her just? Gonna, gonna I was trying back. to like plan some last minute shit and just tell like, them. Like leave. Tell them. It did. No. Tell them. I'm, tell them. I'm telling them. You still making it sound Bronxy? <laughs> no. I'm, Make I'm, it I'm sound as romantic as it sounded when you said it to me. Get the first of all. I would not talk romantic to you, nigga. What are you talking about? 
<laughs> what are you said, talking Yo, about? I'll tell him. If you was my girl. I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him. I said, wow, what you got going on? Joe over the Joe. Double on time. <laughs> it's amazing how you're not. Oh, listen, <laughs> how you don't sing that part? She knocked him off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, not you. Oh, okay. Joe. Listen, Maul said, I don't have nothing going on. Mm-hmm. But if I did, mm-hmm. thought about getting a little cabin down by the lake for the weekend. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> See, look, phone ring because the sticker talking. <laughs> he said, "I thought about getting a little cabin down Connecticut for the weekend." Connecticut, a little Pocono, Pocono um, picnic, with the, with the champagne vibes, tub, the champagne glass like tub, that. champagne, heart shaped bed, bed. heart shaped bed by the fireplace. You know the vibes, yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Oh, Tom's mall place. is romantic." Teddy bears everywhere. Mall, all over the place. Molly Gum- bears, teddy bears. <laughs> The Bears. All right, fine. Nobody gets a kick out of Maul being romantic the way that I do. Just like nobody got a kick out of Rory getting his cords cut the way I did. It's fine. <laughs> but I, I think fine. I think Maul is romantic. I, I can't believe the internet. Killed I can't me be for romantic. At that. Absolutely. <laughs> I got killed for laughing at that. At oh no, it wasn't laughing. It, that could have been like a really cool topic. You just I, you just ruined the topic. I, I didn't what? care that y'all were laughing. What are you talking about? But I only ruined the topic because I was laughing. Yeah. No, but they killed you about that. They was like, yo, you, you want to talk about the shit you want to talk about. But that's not true. I hit Rory after and said, send me the number. Y'all know I believe no, in that stuff. No, we're talking about on, on, on here, though, recording. How could people you know, wanted you and, to shut and the fuck before, up? And before we talked about off mic, you were like, oh, wow, that'd be a really good topic for the pod. And I then just came on and ruined it. I didn't it. know it was that funny, <laughs> Rory. That was hilarious. I, I can't. No, 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 no. I can't agree. believe no, nobody. I agree. No, I, I agree. I'll take the saying. L. No, I agree. Rory told us he went and sat in Target and the chick <laughs> told him the yeah. confident and she has to cut the no, cords. No, it was and- funny. But Joe, I set it up to be funny. We could have actually had the conversation. You were just stepping on the entire conversation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It could have been a really cool convo to it laugh wasn't. and have fun with and be serious. Why should have shut up? Yeah, I called him Bluetooth Rory. Y'all, Y'all don't remember. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But then I shut the fuck up. No, that was funny. Yeah, see? Damn, is it? You're funnier than me? Wow. <laughs> wow, man. Not at all. They're right. <laughs> but I always thought Mom was funnier than you. It's the people, man. I don't care. We're servants of the people. We're humble, humble servants of the oh, people. Oh, God. Oh, brother. All right, UMG. Universe. We are. UMG removes catalog from TikTok rival th- Triller. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> I didn't know Triller still existed. That's what happens when the, la- right, when the label. Right, I don't have right, TikTok right, or right. Triller. Oh, my. I thought TikTok wiped right, Triller man. out. Apparently thought, they didn't. This is what happens when the labels Parks invest was, with every app. Barks, how did you think? Tr- tr- when have you seen someone post a Triller in the past two, I, three years? I just watched fucking Nate Robinson get knocked out on Triller and sure. came in here for the next five sure. weeks to say, wow, really like the direction sure. they're going. In no doubt. Day. But that's not what Triller was designed for. That's not what this is talking about. This is talking about what Triller was, was people doing TikToks. And mm-hmm. now TikTok is the new Triller. So I didn't know that t- Triller existed in that space of putting music and dances together. Mm. And I think Triller's moving into a space that is going to be very lucrative in what they're doing. Well, you but it. you can't just play any music when Nate s- Robinson's coming out of the tunnel into the ring. Well, it's smart to move into a different space when TikTok is in your that space. Yeah. It's, it's smart to add on the oh. shit. Let's talk about it. We can confirm our deal with UMG. Well, hold up now. Because this makes sense because I, th- I want to say Universal has a deal with TikTok. <laughs> I they, think do. they do. They yeah. definitely do. And I want to say Universal is not the only uh, company who to deal with TikTok. No. We can confirm sure our Sony deal with too. UMG expired approximately one week ago. Ha ha. We've been negotiating since then in an attempt to renew. Sounds familiar. The renewal, however, was just a formality and a courtesy to UMG as a shareholder of Triller. Triller does not need a deal with UMG to continue operating as it has been since the relevant artists are already shareholders or partners on Triller oh, okay. and thus can authorize their usage directly. Oh. Triller has no use for a licensing deal with UMG, period. Okay. Now. I'm fucking you, with Triller. Do, do you gentlemen have, No, no, no. Scroll. No, 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 no. Don't, TikTok don't does start have deals with screen. Universal, Sony, and Warner. Exactly. Short term licensing deal. So, you know, who knows if they're still active. Or so whatever. they're doing the same thing with TikTok that they did with Spotify and at these it's deals with everybody. Deals with everybody. I like the fact that the artists are shareholders and partners on Triller though. Yeah, that's great. I do like that. That's dope. Well, and a lot of the business that I do today, what I hear often is, boy, am I glad that you own everything that we're talking about. 
Mm. I'm glad that I don't have to deal with a third party publisher, author, agent, Mm -hmm. lawyer, and just any extra person that can be a headache. So that I do believe that to be the way of the future. If we're going to talk about all this ownership shit, one of the perks of that is how you negotiate when you own it. So yeah, this is the future of that. Hey, the artists here have a piece of this. They're shareholders. They're on the board. We've seen this with title and their rollout of artists and giving them some shit. But yeah, I believe this to be the future. Shareholding. So I like Trilla there. Trilla has no use for a licensing deal. with. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that part. Anybody could have a use of for a licensing deal with UMG. With the company sure, but I think, I just think the direction they're going in, they don't have to depend on a UMG or a Sony for actual music. Mm-hmm. For the space they're going in now. I'm not too familiar with what they're developing into. Uh, I think the... Aside from the, the live, boxing the thing. Lives, I just think what they did with boxing... Across the board. Just, okay. just live events because all of us are inside and I think that's going to be the way for some time. Regardless if people can start going out and going to events, I still think that's going to be a very lucrative place to live. For sure. Live events. <laughs> this don't even read like this. This don't even read this aggressively if it wasn't aggressive behind the scenes. Mm. Like this don't, Trilla don't say, Trilla don't need y'all niggas to rock. We been rocking. Fuck y'all. Y'all don't move nothing over here. They don't say that. If it hasn't already been aggressive back there. Let me continue reading. We categorically deny we have withheld any artist payments. Our deal has only been one week expired. And if anything, it is UMG using their artist names as a front to extract ridiculous and non-sustainable payments for themselves and not their artists. Hey, is that true? (laughs) <laughs> was, was this was this like when all the labels invested in Spotify and the labels got rich and Spotify oh, got rich man. and the artists didn't get any type of pay? Word. No way that's <laughs> happening right underneath artist noses. <laughs> they did the same thing to TikTok for two years and virtually every other social network. It is un- it this is, is unfo- the bar. This it is, is unfortunate bar. UMG decided to use the press as its negotiating leverage when they realized we aren't going to be held hostage. Mm. Excuse me. UMG is well aware any agreement was just out of respect and courtesy, not necessity. We have been operating without it, and there has been no change in our business. I like the aggressiveness in this message. I like the we're not playing with them, even though they're Universal Music Group. And Trilla has money. And let's not just say UMG. Universal, period. Yeah. It's one of the biggest entities June, on earth. In June 2018, Trilla and UMG announced that they had reached a licensing agreement that would that would give Trilla users access to UMG's entire catalog, which includes Taylor Swift, Drake, Kanye West, and other well-known acts. That agreement has uh, ostensibly expired. A representative for UMG later gave blah, 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 the following statement, comment, uh, Trilla's statements are removed from reality. Oh, they're beefing. That's like Clearly. what Spotify said back to me. We offered him some uh, substantial more money than he's ever made. Uh, yeah, I said that, but what does that mean? <laughs> that don't say that we was handled, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I feel this. I feel this. Uh, shout out to Triller, man. Really like what y'all doing and what y'all did, and I'd like to see how y'all continue without this. Look, we got more. Audio Mac streams will now influence Billboard chart positions. I'm hitting the air horn. Listen, okay. Joe ain't got to come in here and t- tell y'all that shit is changing and the next decade will be decided on our moves and our actions right now because the companies are gearing up for war. Like, I know I've been saying that, but at this point, if you don't see it, it's because you're not trying to see it. Audio Mac streams now count toward the billboard charts. Audio Mac streams, blah, 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 blah. the youth driven streaming platform announced the change Tuesday. Confirming that uh, confirming its U.S. data will be incorporated in the Billboard U.S. and global charts takes uh, global charts take streaming data into account. These will include the Billboard Hot 100, Billboard 200, Artist 100, and Billboard Global 200 charts. Audio Max serves as a unique listener base that is distinct from the audiences found on uh, competing platforms. Vanessa Wilkins says, Audio Max Director of Music and Data Partnerships said in a statement, in contributing to the most iconic music charts, Audio Mac will now certify the achievements of countless artists who previous, whose previous success has never been represented fairly and accurately. I, saw, I read, I read another, uh, another article I have it right here that uh, at the same time, this is also from a day or two ago, 
Audio Max signs licensing deals with UMG, Sony. UMG and Sony. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't say Warner. Uh, they they already had one with Warner. Okay. So now they so have they everybody. Got, they got everyone. So... You said First of all, right? congratulations, yeah, to, congratulations to Audio Mac. Congratulations to Audio Mac. Really big move. Let me hit the round of applause. Oh, yeah. round of applause. So I'm not surprised that now they're, that they're uh, huh? licensing deals with all the major labels. Oh. That, so I mean, I'm not surprised that now they're validated by Billboard. <laughs> they should have been anyways. They should have. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But I think I think all of them. I think Bandcamp should be. Yeah. I, think Sound, I mean, SoundCloud is already, but it took a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think just the streaming, the major streaming site should count for that. Shit, it took agree. YouTube a little while to be counted on Billboard. It's true. A long time, really. Yeah, it's crazy. But that took the three majors to do so. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Why does nobody ever talk about Billboard like a business? It's definitely a business. I know. I was but, about to, but why are they? I was about to excluded? make some jokes on them the other day. They've been posting this girl, and I know she's got a big single, and I can't remember her name, so I apologize. But literally, like three posts a day are about this girl's single. If Billboard is posting like, it. You don't need to know her name. It'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. She'll she'll be <laughs> she'll be fine without us. But it's like uh, you're clearly invested in this person's career on some level. Well, listen, I had to fight with someone at Universal about playing music on the podcast and how that should count as a stream. Mm. This was when we were coming right off our Spotify deal. What said, argument is there? The the argument is if I play the entire record. No, no, on I mean a, what a, argument opposes that? Oh, I they didn't really have one of just that it's a podcast. We haven't figured out how to how to count that. I'm like they play yes, you they play have. the whole yeah, word. They, count they it the same it way you count if they, anybody playing a record. They yeah. figured it out. Yes, they have. Well, That's they, the no, they, no, they were saying they can't count who listened to the record. Say <laughs> if we have this was their point. Say if we do a two hour podcast and we play the record at the end. Uh huh. They can't guarantee. They'd have to go in to see what the users were at the time, which I still think they can do that. They can do that. Absolutely. They can do that. Of the users there. And like, if our podcast gets a million views, now that song gets a million streams. It, it's just a way to not to pay people. The, the plan. <laughs> exactly. the, and this, this, is the, this is the issue. Plain and simple. The music business and the entertainment business are going to continue to cut deals and do business with the platforms rather than the artists, right? Uh Which leaves the artists with two choices. Leave a platform, none of us will. Nope. Community's there. Or get equity so that when the deals are done and the platform grows, you grow too. Which is why I highlighted that in that thriller, uh, Triller Reed earlier, which is why shit like this is really important. Important to know which platforms are in bed with the labels. Mm-hmm. Cause I got 70 years of knowing what the label's objective is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good to know who's working with them and who's working with the artists. The end. You pick a side, grab a tie and all in the process. Right. Yeah, but that's why I think these type of streaming platforms end up fucking over the bigger artists more than the smaller ones and we never boohoo all the big artists you're rich already but that'd be my problem as a Drake into Spotify and Apple yeah I should have some shares here because I think a majority of your users don't pay me off the streams of how many people listen to it mm-hmm. people pay that 10 bucks a month for the most part Tell to listen to, to my shit Right. don't pay me the same you pay everyone else on a stream Yeah. there's no fucking way you can do that yeah but they, Go by the time Drake of, had a deal with Apple, though, right? I'm saying shares. It's a fucking oh, deal. Shares. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need to really be part of Apple Music because I'm bringing the most people that are spending the most time here. That makes sense. And that's why, but that's why I Don't say... Don't pay me on the point zero zero one penny. It's going to be a lot because people stream my shit crazy, but still. But that, spending it's only time a fraction on your app of because, actual value. Yeah. yeah. But if we're going to talk about that, we could talk about that on, on all platforms. I, we, I, I still feel like a lot of athletes are way underpaid. I agree. Oh, couldn't agree more. For the amount of money that the NBA generates. Yeah. Like you you hear things like Giannis getting two fifty and all of that. And I'm looking like he might be underpaid still. Yeah. No, that's, I'm not, that's a I'm not popular sure argument is people like, oh, these athletes should just be happy yeah. that they're making like Fuck no. They're I'm not generating on them. billions of dollars. Absolutely. I'm not shitting them or even getting in their pockets or their business. Because 
we were undervalued too. <laughs> oh no, but I mean, you know, this, like, is, this, no, this, this is this podcast thing. This is a fight that we just gotta like. I, I don't want to make it for. seem like I'm in anyone's pocket or shitting on them for their business deals because I don't know them. Mm-hmm. I just know that artists, especially the bigger ones, should have a share, and they may, and I just don't know it. Mm-hmm. But they that's deserve that. that. That's true. Stop right there. Yes. Beautiful. It happened. What? There's a kid in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Ken Griffey. <laughs> it happened. It was a young Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happened. It happened. That was a great. But that's big, why. Oh, you, that's why you can't do shit um, for acknowledgement and credit, right? Like that's what I. That's really what I meant last week when I said, uh, like. Niggas have never tried to sell a thing. Not niggas like y'all, but in general. Mm -hmm. Niggas have never tried to sell something. Mm -hmm. So if you've never tried to sell something to a stranger, then going around and asking these different companies for equity in something that was built before you were a part of, you won't know what it entails. Right. Like I saw mad articles, think pieces, podcasts come out and talk about, oh, Joe got equity. What does it mean? For me, that's the issue. Because mm-hmm. if we saying, yo, the platforms are loading up, mm-hmm. we either got to de-platform or get equity, and I'm talking to the creators, and the creators don't even know what it's like to try to go get it. Mm-hmm. That's how far behind in the race we are. Right. Like, I seen something that said Kanye West and Elon Musk about to talk on Clubhouse. Know what that says to me? Kanye West has equity in Clubhouse. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. The end. For sure. You don't think this guy who didn't get the board seat at Gap, didn't get the board seat at Nike, or did... I know what his... He's fighting for board seats. Oh, now, sure. he ain't just popping up somewhere. Mm-mm. It's hard, is my point. I'm not going to get into a long creator rant. It's just real... It's it's tough. It's tough to do. Right. Go to Apple and tell them you need equity because of what you bring them. Have fun. Go to Spotify... It's tough. ...and tell them you need equity, like Joe did. I did that. Sounds crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds, yeah. Podcasting, that sounds, absolutely. That sounds insane. They're not. They're not. That sounds insane. They're not respecting the hey, podcast. Go to Amazon and Jeff Bezos. Not Jeff anymore, but go to Amazon and say, "Yo, still Jeff Bezos." I need equity. Go to Netflix. Go anywhere and say, "I need equity." And the one person you told that to is going to go tell the board, and the board is going to laugh. <laughs> pretty, it, pretty loud. Hey, hey, Rory. <laughs> yes. And but matter of fact, a lot of the board doesn't have equity. Hey, <laughs> but if they don't laugh. God forbid, what if they go around the room? <laughs> what if they go around the table? Hey, Joe wants equity at Spotify. Let's start with you. <laughs> ha, let's go with you next. Ha, How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel? Like, that's what's happening out here. We got to get with it, man. We just got to get with it. Of course. And, and what I'm saying is uh, ideal situation and what people deserve. I'm well aware of the reality of it. So... I know what yeah, it's gonna but, be, but that goes back to let's, shoot. I, let's, let's, shoot let's get back. Let's get back to uh, Hovengers. That's what title was marketed as, but it was just wrong because the average consumer doesn't particularly care if you throw a bunch of artists on stage and say we're being underpaid. Like, fam, I got bills. I don't. Y'all are rich. Don't show me fucking uh, Nikki, Lady Gaga, Jay Z. Like, I, I don't care. I but said, that's what that message was like. I we can create this and all the artists can have equity in it. We don't need to go to the Apples and the Spotify's. Right. We can create it. Yeah, and but... It was just marketed wrong. Let me play that. It was that. marketed right to the artist. It wasn't marketed right to us. We cooking now somehow on a Thursday. Let me try to reply to that some. Because for me, I'll scream from the mountaintops, yo, y'all, I got equity. When I came to y'all with a Patreon conversation... I said two things. Want to get money? And yo, I got a position. I think I can get niggas equity, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the end. I saw a wave. That didn't mean nothing to a wave of creators. Right. I saw a wave of creators say, awesome job. Well, I saw a few creators say, awesome job. What does that mean for us? Right? Right. So to Rory's point, like, 
None of that shit matters because the creators always want to know what the move does for them. To me, I may not understand a creator saying that because I got six years of trying to predict. Mm-hmm. Hey, Spotify don't have podcasts nowhere. Apple and SoundCloud, it took us years to figure out how that info was even sourced out. Like, hey, is it all Apple? Is it SoundCloud? Is it what are they mm-hmm. doing back there? Amazon wasn't thinking of podcasts. Nobody out there was thinking of podcasts. Right. Long, short story, even shorter. The point is, in Joe's stupid head, I'm thinking I'm telling people, I'm giving people like a blueprint of how to weaponize their audience. Mm-hmm. Like we didn't, our shit ain't on Spotify right now. Mm-hmm. It's mad places our shit is not on. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every creator I talk to says they can't get nowhere without putting their shit on all of these places. <laughs> right. I have to convince the other, not convince, let me not do that. I have, When I speak to other podcasters, like the ones that, on the network, mm-hmm. I'm telling them how I think, which is, yo, why are you putting your shit over there? Hey, if Sirius not paying us, why are you putting it over there? Mm-hmm. If iHeart not paying you, why are you putting it over there? Like, it's no promo. It's no look. Like, if you know what's happening back there, if you know the calculator, I'm not getting on a rant. I'm shutting up. Mm-hmm. But if you know, you just know. Right. And if more creators knew, they wouldn't just keep saying, that nigga Joe is a lunatic. Joe is nuts. Joe's bugging. What is he talking about? Hundred million. Hundred what? So maybe they might keep saying it, but that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't stop the the, the mission. That doesn't stop. What... Well, that's why you can't do it for them. Right. You can't exactly. do it for them. You just exactly. got to go. You just got to go and do what you got to do. And then they'll, they'll figure it out once they see like, oh, shit. Once things get announced and once things start moving, it's like, oh, now it all makes sense. But the important part is just letting everybody know that these things can happen. You get the information. You learn the game. You learn the field. You learn the moves that are being made. And then you have to figure out, okay, what's best for me? What's best for what I'm trying to do? What's best for my company? What's best for whatever situation you're trying to do and trying to build? You, people just have to know the, the 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 market and know what's going on. Like, okay, yeah, they're gonna wave a check in front of your face for twenty million, but they be might they might be making six hundred million dollars off of your show. You won't know that. But if you never had twenty million, some people might jump at the thought of that because they never had it. Twenty million dollars, I'm set for like we heard Jim say, twenty million and he out. I be home thinking to myself, what do y'all think Spotify's secret, secret hidden calculator fax machine Hmm. tax phone that they have? What do y'all think they're typing up if you go spend a billion dollars? Right. Right. You think it's a whim? (laughs) No, but exactly. Do you you think that the board and these scientists are guessing? Right. They're not. (laughs) <laughs> no They have all the data That's They're how they not. make their money Yeah Yeah the- Yeah but when you just go off data You're not gonna be that successful No That's true but if you go off data and I know to spend money That's how you gauge things Yo but- we so behind in the fight we, we think that the fight is with the streaming companies Right <laughs> That's a whole nother topic That's it's how the data fight and that's the biggest fight, and we haven't talked about that's it. How, still on this podcast. That's how far behind in this fight we the, are. We're like, oh, pay us our streams. The Facebook versus <laughs> No, pay me for sending my social security number all around the that fucking part. internet. Right. <laughs> that's the Facebook versus Apple fight that's happening, and no one really actually, not even just us, no one's really covering it, but it's one of the biggest fights yeah. in the world right now. Mm-hmm. Very quiet, very, very quiet. Because you need data to cover it. Right. <laughs> and and I hate hate to make this a political thing, and I'm not going to. But that be my problem with presidential debates and all that shit. Stop blinding me with gay marriage. Yeah. Stop it. Stop picking these issues that I know are just going to make people get emotional, and uh-huh. we're only going to focus on that for a candidate. What are y'all doing? My fucking data. I don't care who gets married. Right. Fam, you let them storm the Capitol. <laughs> I don't care. Put their feet all on the desk. Uh, <laughs> right. But yeah. no, nah, they never touch the real topics when it comes to political shit. And yet they, they talking they, tough to me. Yeah. I take all my little respect. I only had a little respect for you, whites. I'll take it back. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> and Jay, now so, it's no more. Jay, so you're talking tough to me. I lost all my little respect. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga forced little in there. <laughs> <laughs> and and I would rap a little faster. The first ball was, I lost all of my respect. He yeah. didn't like that. No. Nah. Nah. My little respect. Yeah. I ain't really fuck with y'all. Who did the government who did the government assassinate uh when I was born? Can you look that up? 81? August 31st, 
No, any any year. 80? August August 31st, 80. Don't 81 me out. August 31st, uh, who died? So when I come back, it could be with a vengeance. I don't know. <laughs> it was a baloney, it was a baloney massacre. <laughs> The baloney is coming back. <laughs> Yo, you was born on the baloney massacre. <laughs> oh, Jack the Ripper killed his first victim on your birth on the day you were born. That makes sense. Princess Diana did. Princess, not I was die alive when Princess on, Diana died in 1980. <laughs> Who you got? Joe? And she was assassinated, mm. but that's another topic. Now nah, you definitely first it was on the thirty first, not eighty. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Joey, <laughs> Joey, <laughs> Mike Shack. <laughs> Church 201 shit. What's last it's, time you was in 201? It's uh, <laughs> so much outside more. <laughs> yeah. More. When they got the hold up. It's it uh First victim of Jack the Wisp Ripper. Mm-hmm. Us when my dad whispered in mom's <laughs> ear so much bigger. <laughs> like, if y'all gonna <laughs> If Screaming. y'all don't laugh, then fuck yeah, it. I ain't, y'all don't encourage me. Y'all don't, <laughs> Maury, y'all don't encourage stop laughing. Me. Turn the beat off, please. Come on, get that shit off. Y'all not, no, y'all not know. Know. Turn it off. I, 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 I arrived the day Jack Thriller's victim left. <laughs> I arrived the same day as the baloney. And I don't massacre. know if that's insensitive. I don't know much. Y'all ain't here. I, I arrived the same day as the first victim of Jack the Ripper. Mm-hmm. My dad whispered mm-hmm. in mom's ears. I appeared a tad bitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's dope now? Because I'm gonna say what's dope. Then I'm gonna say I'm that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what's dope now? Like, what's hot right I don't now? Know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, mom. <laughs> what they doing? Uh, All I hear the rapper saying is, "I spin the block and shoot." Spin the block. No, no, they all saying it. They That's how I know it's, it matches up with the deaths. <laughs> You, you, you they, checking the data? Listen, <laughs> they, and, you know, I'm I'm glad that I retired and I don't have to rap in the spin the block era. They would know I'm lying. Don't yeah. do that. Joe, you did not spin the block. Yeah. You said it in the Banks verse. I love that verse. And shout out to you because that's an amazing verse. You what? said in that Banks verse, spin the block, make but, sure the body drops or by, something like that. By then, I was okay with niggas knowing I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> At the Banks verse, nobody said, yo, when no, Joe no, that, when yeah. Joe spin that block, run, yo. Yeah, yeah. Duck. <laughs> nobody said that. Now, when Ghostface would run out, niggas ran. Well, yeah. Niggas ran when run came out. That's it. <laughs> and the Bloody Massacre. <laughs> what is that? More importantly. What is that? It was a terrorist oh, bombing in, in, of the Bologna Central Railway. Oh. Station in Bologna, Italy. I thought it was Bologna the food. Hit the beat. It was a bombing from the terrorists. That's when I terror shit. I'm on my old 90s way back era shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yo, turn it off, man. <laughs> yeah, come on. Turn it off, man. <laughs> yo, how come when... Yo, I only be trying to set it off and they never jump in and just... If I get two from you and 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 two from me, it's a 16. <laughs> That's true. I have rapped and then we have content to sell on the streaming platforms. <laughs> Eight, two, Don't worry about 16. it. Mm. When you was two, I was 16, Rory. Uh, I was 16. <laughs> uh, triple beam. You know, the click meme. Uh, uh, there you go. Baddest chick that the chicks sing. Right. Uh. <laughs> If you're not going to jump in, don't laugh at me. <laughs> if you're not going to jump in, don't laugh at me. I liked it. I was the baddest on the block. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that. Yeah, I know how to. I know how to. You know what I mean? Right. I listen to enough come on, come rap. On, I know where the right goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, that right was placed right, right, It was the right, right. It was the right, right. It's a Karuchi. Yeah, it was the right, right. I know. Speaking of right, yes. Speaking of right. Oh man, Karuchi turned complex upside down when she came up there. Did she? I never seen so many Asians and whites going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't no black people in conflict uh, for the culture on the doors. So, the, right. so the post breakup uh, body pic thing is still going. It happens. Oh, it's still strong. Yeah, she looks great, and they never she's been miss. Working out. We can say that 
Chicks are batting a thousand on the post breakup hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travis, yeah. They've, they've Tra- never. Travis Kelsey went and got got he's, her back. He spun the block. <laughs> <laughs> he spun the block immediately. He hey. might have. He might have had his his, his his fucking uniform on but when that, he spun the block. But that's how you know that man. That man heartache is is real. Travis Kelsey got a two hundred million dollar contract. He got shot like seven new commercials for State Farm and some yeah. shit, and still spent that block. Oh, well, if you're going to show her doing yoga and all that. Then. Yeah, yeah, spend the block. I think that's a cheat code when girls do yoga on yeah. the gram. Like, I can't just go do yoga and tape it. No. Yeah. They no. They no. Have, they no. Have, they when they look good, like, all right. That's ha- that move is happening this weekend. Yeah, that's the open. Oh, yoga is happening in my house this week. Ooh. The sidestep squats? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> she got the nerve to look good and be centered. Yeah. <laughs> That's she, the real post breakup shit. But nah, she giving you more. I than look just, good and I'm centered within myself. Karuchi right could do that for our whole relationship, and I'd be happy. The fire hydrant? Yeah, she do the fire hydrant. I ain't no, going not that. Not oh, that one, the one right it's, uh, before. It's good for your glutes. Which, which yeah. she just laid there, op- opened her legs. And oh, the bridges. That's her called face the bridges. Was just, look, look at me. Look at my face. Nigga. That's the bridges. I'm beautiful. Yeah, that's the bridges. I'm beautiful, and you're gonna come. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to do nothing. That's usually how that goes. Time for another position. You're gonna look at me just like this. Look, nigga, straighten your eyes. You coming now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what would happen. Women know yeah. how to women know how to get niggas to like act right. But why do they do this after breakup? Well, that's what because we just you, you know what you're missing, and you don't, and the, the thought of another man being all over that is just too much for some oh. niggas to handle. <laughs> Here's the thing, and I'm not making this Karushi specific at all. I want to make that thought very of clear. a man being all over that. Yeah, if you see your girl <laughs> posting a pic like that, and you thinking like, damn, she might be. You know what? I take, else back, exa- I take back what I said. The pictures they're batting a thousand for. The results? No, let's get some man shit in here right now. The results might be, be a sucking. thousand too. No, it's not. Because I've definitely Kelsey seen spun the, the chick do the breakup photo shoot, and I've said he can have a blast with that. She mean? looks good, but that bitch is a headache. Yeah, but some niggas like headaches. Every girl's gonna be a headache. You just gotta find your headache. <laughs> that was nope. cute. That was cute. Yeah, Every was girl's cute. gonna be a headache. What you trying to run from okay, a headache? Well, you run from one headache. Sometimes I don't want that fucking headache. That's true. You're going to run from one headache to a new headache. Okay, well, maybe you know I don't saying? want a migraine. Maybe I just I want might, a regular headache. I might not. That <laughs> might be true. I might not want the headache, but nigga, you don't get my headache, nigga. <laughs> Who? <laughs> you, nigga. Whoever you is. Whoever the nigga no, is. I'm just saying. Yeah, whoever exactly. the nigga is how from, you feel? from Arkansas. Yeah, that's how you see. That's places. how you feel. So act uh, right. Eric Darnold. Act Donald. right. Oh, uh, look at Joe thinking. No, because all, all women do with this is let you know that there's still a thousand men out there that are going crazy over no, your I girl. Think more like a hundred thousand men. Well, yeah, uh, four hundred thousand men. The yeah. they're going crazy for your girl. They think your girl looks good. So if you got fifty six, if you got bored with your girlfriend and y'all break up, whatever, whatever. And but was she boring? Eh, maybe she was. Maybe the relationship just didn't have the fire it once did. But once you see other niggas that do what you do, have what you have, or more. That are like, damn! I just need the opportunity. You gonna try to stop that opportunity? Y'all Fair really like, y'all really oh, love please. other dudes. Yeah, I'm with you, Roy. <laughs> I'm with you. Unless it's to a point where you're just like, it's, it's over. Like we just listen. And I may think the photo shoot looks great, and you look great in it. But I know what comes with you looking great. <laughs> go, go, sit your fucking ass down and heal. <laughs> what she was doing? Yoga. Why is nobody saying that nigga? You wasn't. It wasn't healing yoga. But this is that part was of healing. Yoga. It was not healing. healing. It was not healing yoga. Yeah, yoga's I, healing. It talk, was not healing. Yoga. I've talked to women about this because I've said the same thing. Nothing about that looks like healing, or you're unbothered. And they say, "Well, we lack, don't police them." No, they say <laughs> we we lack confidence after breakups, and we just want to feel pretty again. Because in so many breakups, we don't feel pretty. So I just need to do the photo shoot. I was like, "All right." So a bunch of strangers that you hated before and said you mad thirsty could say the same thing before. Why does it matter now? <laughs> Just hearing and why and why are you getting your confidence from the internet? And why can't I? A lot of people get their confidence from the internet. <laughs> I they feel, should stop. I, and women. I feel I'm pretty. I think too a lot of actually, matter of fact, breakup. I think more men do than women. <laughs> yeah, probably. Y'all should stop doing that because the internet love is inconsistent. <laughs> well, you said more men than women. Oh, I keep a few bitches. Try to get their love. Gas me up. No, nah, men don't, don't, men like don't really bitches. get love from the internet like that. The average man doesn't get love from the internet. Uh, well, go go check your timeline and see it how could many be an average girl that just bottles. looks good and a bunch of they, niggas. That's our that's, that's our oh, ass pick. Our ass pick is the bar, the bottles and sparklers <laughs> section pick. It's the money phone. <laughs> yeah, like that's men looking and seeking attention the nice car. from yeah. the internet. The watch. Like I, I'm not just gonna put it on women. I think men do it. If no, not more. men do it for sure, but just not to the to the rate that women do. No. If I'm with men somebody, buy those ugly Balenciaga sneakers just to post them on the internet. If I'm sure. with somebody for three years and we break up and I'm hurt and I'm going through it, or if I'm not hurt but I'm still going through it, the process, you know, just separating and all of that, I'm not putting my ass on the internet three days later. Well, okay. I'm not. 
It's cool if you don't put your ass on the internet, Joe. That's what I'm saying. Well, look at your look at your morals. You're a, you're a good girl. <laughs> you would never. Whatever. I don't care. Shout out to Karuchi, real sweet, real sweet woman, woman. And everything we said had nothing to do with her. That's yeah, yeah I want to make that out. completely yeah, please, clear. Please, please, please. <laughs> that had nothing to do with Karuchi. Please, 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 yeah, we love you. We're we're just all hurt souls, and we're just. That we thing. love you. We love Big. That's our guy. Hopefully, everything works out. And that leads us right into this. I don't know what to say about this, uh, but the internet is interneting. Sure. About Dr. Dre being seen with blank. You Google it. I'm not saying it. All this feels gross to me. <laughs> it's scary. I don't ever want to be the podcast that says, did you see Dre and <laughs> his... <laughs> His rumored new girl. <laughs> See, I haven't gotten to one day when, can't we, do it. when we really grow up and we're nowhere near. This has grown to me to not talk about this type of shit. My version is when we really grow up, we'll talk about this moment in co-parenting when this happens. <laughs> when, you're, when, you're girl, when your baby mother is on a date with Dr. Dre, going to eat? <laughs> you just went to the fridge to get some orange juice and was scrolling your phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you stumbled upon <laughs> He was minding your business Yeah 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 yeah. And you stumbled upon your whiz mm -hmm. <laughs> Your earth Right Your everything Your air your Everything yeah, huh? yeah. Your headache Yeah, yeah your yeah, headache That's yeah. yours That's your headache That's your right. stink Right <laughs> Right Just going to a little restaurant With Dre and the security man Oh Bo You know the sea bass is amazing <laughs> Plaid Plaid uh, Throw coat Mm -hmm. yeah, you bought it that She coat. wasn't trying to be low. <laughs> no. Shit. No. Look, beautiful Escalade done up. Yeah, Escalade regular. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you do? Yeah. Amarion been putting out all these sexy pictures of him and his brother. That ain't going to cut it. Nah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, Just, just o, don't hit the same thing. and o and see? Dave. And I'm joking right now because O and his brother is my man. I fuck with both of them. Those are my guys. I don't think O gives a fuck, so I don't, I'm not talking about him, but. I'm glad I'm not at this this point in the well, co-parenting. Well, maybe I was last year. <laughs> but like, and I'm not making those, this specific to them. Those, those Some men just intense. don't care anymore. Like, I know what yeah. that headache is. Some men get to that point. Like, but they I don't, don't care. Hey, Have you a blast. See, <laughs> hey, you're going to see this on the internet. You still got to get your kid. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that you be pull, pull up blast in the chronic. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> or, or she start talking real fly. Yo, how was your weekend? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, she start talking real fly. She did it about him. Yeah, she dating Joe right now. She was like, no, nah, Yo, I don't even got to He ain't writing none of this, right? Yeah. I, <laughs> she ain't even got to pick him up, though. You fucking with Dre. Like, yo, listen, the, 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 the helicopter lands at seven. Just have the kids there. Then what you going to do? You got to put your kids on the chopper. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 Imagine a nigga fly your kids to his yacht <laughs> on a helicopter. I have too much to say right now. <laughs> My kids will never get on that helicopter. Get the fuck I out have, of here. I have too much to say right now. Slow down. You don't let say. Me, slow down. <laughs> yeah, let me, I know he is. Slow down. Let me get some of this out of my head, Paul. Uh, I gotta get your shit off. One. I'm, well, I can't wait till y'all have kids. So I'll just get my shit off until y'all I have Baisley. <laughs> Statement number one. I got mad about something I seen on the internet, but said to myself, when I get there, you're not going to say you. nothing about it? Yeah, I can't let you know. But that plan, I, that I plan have, doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you did some push-ups and thought that I was going to get it out the way? Just, just, to add, just to add some sauce to the, to the pot. I've tried that plan too. What did you see on the internet? Because that matters. Because then we'll know exactly where you at in a relationship Like if you ain't really over it. I can't say what I saw. Why not? Because this is public. But you saw something that was put out into the public. Move on. I understand. I can't something say what, that I can't say what I saw because that's not my place to say. Yeah. But what? But wait, is what? This listen. was on the internet, wasn't it? Yes. So it's public. No. Yeah, but he still can't works. say what. That's not how it works. What? What that's not. Y'all hate Maul. That's not how it works, Maul. I'm I'm bugging out. If yes. something is on the internet, it's public. No. Okay. Cause the internet gets is privy to shit sometimes that niggas didn't mean for the internet to be privy to, so you might see your whiz up there and she ain't planning for that to go out there. You might. I'm not talking about me. I'm right, just talking about right, period. Right, 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 right. 
So he was talking about you. And also the internet has a short memory span. <laughs> you literally just said me. I I saw something on the internet. So I saw something. But it didn't but listen, it didn't I wasn't disturbed at what I saw because as co parents you, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like it's over. That's not I, true. I, I, yeah, it's not. I was disturbed. <laughs> I just want. I don't even have a kid, and I know it's not true. I was disturbed. I shouldn't say any of this, but I'll, I'll give a little test sneak peek. Okay. I was disturbed because it was like she hit me with the yo. I just broke my leg. I can't walk. I can't carry the baby. I need. I need some time. I'm doing too much. I'm a single mom. Like, and as you start feeling bad, he's like, "Y'all, nah, nah. You right, yo. Nah, you right. I'm out here getting money. I'm with the fellas." Come on, man. Drop a little stink off. Drop a little stink off. Now, that ain't the time for me to see something on the internet. <laughs> the end. Mm-hmm. Now you want to look at your phone? Don't worry about I'm it. I'm listening. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I'm moving listening. on. I haven't gotten to this fight currently. Like, my fight now is like, yo, man, you going to pack that bag like that? Like <laughs> Petty shit. Come petty on. Shit. You ain't going to put the sippy cup? Yeah, yeah. Petty shit. Where the sippy shit. cup at? Yeah. Oh, you got everything you need in your house. You don't know what's in my house. Right. <laughs> Petty shit. But this right here, dinner. I feel like she gave him practice for this though. I, I feel like she. <laughs> what was she doing with homeboy? Whoever that was, I don't know. Some fake shit. But I feel like that gave Amar enough time to prep for when Dr. Dre comes out. See, I don't want none of mine to get with a billionaire. Why not? I, I I just <laughs> pray, prayers to everyone involved. I'm not a billionaire. <laughs> I'm not a billionaire. I don't want to get into so personal that, gossip. How much shit. I got? What I got? <laughs> <laughs> so so you mad you don't want your girl your, your or your baby mother to get with a billionaire because you're not a billionaire? Well I'm not don't say baby mom, I'm sorry. Any anybody. <laughs> oh any 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 of your women yeah, that you yeah, dated. Yeah. That's some if, selfish if shit. If she get with a billionaire, I'm taking my kid. Why? <laughs> Matter of fact, an ex could get with a billionaire. Why, nigga? Don't have my why? don't give my kid his own helicopter. You're talking about why? What do you mean why? <laughs> but why? You're not, you're not, what do you mean why? <laughs> why though? That don't got nothing to do with you and your kid. Is there an album that came out? No, nah. no music came out. No, you're not gonna show my kid no better life than I could provide for them. <laughs> what are you talking? About? The fuck are you talking about, nigga? The fuck? <laughs> oh man, that's some funny shit, man. I know what it is. Dre <laughs> thought he had that mask on. Niggas wasn't gonna know it was him. <laughs> well, I didn't. I thought that was a bodyguard. Yeah, niggas figured it out. Niggas was like, yo, so chronic. Two. The only thing I will comment on this actual situation is that I love that Dre stays consistent even in his date outfit. Fuck, just wore the same hoodie that we've seen him in for the past twenty five years. <laughs> yeah, when you when you that uh, that's what I'm saying at that level you you know you you bigger than the clothes. Fuck, it don't matter what you wear. Same same oh, A ones on. Oh my man, but uh, we gonna need more than MIA on this one. BOA. Listen, I, I know both. him to be a talented producer. <laughs> That's when he got to come out with BOA, both. <laughs> don't do that. I should call him. No, I'm not calling him. No, no, why, no, no, no. why Dre look like he could beat up his own bodyguard? I don't like, why is the bodyguard there? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. This is the greatest breakup song yeah, ever made. That. No, this record is fire. I'm just Ola saying Street. the timing. <laughs> Oh man! See, Omarion's was to pull up to Boa blasting this shit. Yo, I ain't gonna, hold, I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to all the women in my life that have introduced me to music that I love. That's important to me. Very important. Like I can't it's hold the, y'all. The bigger like, things to me. No matter life. what, no matter what our relationship was, like you have this eternal spot in my heart and mind. With like the escort I was dating when one of them take albums came out, that was amazing. And I woke up and it was just the whole album was amazing. That was great. MIA when fucking Kalen played this at the compound just for the first time with just bitches everywhere. It's like, wait, whoa, 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 rewind. <laughs> well, I mean, you could rewind just that one. Turned on the radio. I never listened to that. I stopped listening to radio well, in, that was in radio time. 1994. <laughs> a long time ago. I wasn't, Seriously. I wasn't listening to radio in, in 2011. Fair. And I was the guy that if, if by the time you know about it, it's big on the radio, then they go, who is you? Yo, you you just finding out? That shit old. Well, no, I, you just I like getting hit. And they worked this record for like a year and a half. No, that was a that, that was an amazing record though. And they should have worked this record for a year and a half. That's always one of my greatest questions in hip hop. Like as as artists, they don't work records. You like believe that you believe in every no. record, but some records you should work for like as long as you can, and some records you shouldn't. Like. This record they worked for a long time. That fucking Pussycat Dolls record they worked for like two years, and when it worked, it was the biggest record ever. And Miami was a hit, and I was like, "Well, why didn't y'all think that? 
whatever. Um, shout out to O, shout out to his brother, shout out to all parties involved, shout out to April, shout out to Dr. Dre, shout out to everybody, man. We're not a messy podcast. No. We salute everybody, especially when the children are involved. Love especially and happiness, love involved. and happiness. That's yeah, all that matters. One thousand percent. Listen, the girl got the glue out of here. Thank God. We didn't talk about the gorilla glue girl last week because we men. That's why. But now that she got it <laughs> I out, found out today what that entire joke was about. I had no it's idea. not a joke. People today are stupid enough to do stupid shit like this. And I want to call her stupid, but well, no, I'm, she stupid. didn't mean to do it. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, she she did. She poured the gorilla glue on her hair and she wiped she, it in. But there is another gorilla hair product that she thought that was. And she mistakenly bought the wrong bottle. That's what the story was. This wasn't like something. She Is there Gorilla Glue at the Beauty Supply? There's no Gorilla Glue at the Beauty Supply. I'm wherever. I don't know about beauty products, so it, maybe she you're thought right. it was like it's like it's called Gorilla Hair Gel or something like that. Listen, I literally just asked everyone in the room about this an hour ago, so I don't know much about this. But yeah, yeah you just shouldn't put Gorilla Glue in your hair. <laughs> no, absolutely. But I, I, I believe the story was. <laughs> but even if that's the, <laughs> I'm not mad at much. that being a story. Yeah. What I was mad at was when I saw uh, reports that they were trying to sue Gorilla Glue, the company. Now that I have a problem with. You can't be 40 years old, put the wrong Gorilla Glue all in your hair, need it surgically removed, and now want to sue somebody. I ambulance chasing to me. I think it says on the front of the Gorilla Glue bottle. Don't this, be stupid. Th- this will never come out. Whatever product I'm putting out, I'm putting Don't Be Stupid right at the bottom of it, on the front. So now, that just is... Okay, so this this woman is explaining that there is all these different Gorilla products. Yeah. They have okay. Gorilla Glue, they have Gorilla Hair Gel, shit like that. If I'm doing something with hair, I probably want hair in the title. Not just Gorilla Glue, but whatever. Listen, the good part is, it got out. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what we're here to say. I'm not here to talk about the Gorilla Glue girl. No. But she got it out, really happy for her. Shout out to everybody that helped and her please don't put Gorilla Glue in your hair. Yeah. <laughs> or really anywhere on your body, probably. Yeah. If I, I think that's a safe a Tell safe me about assumption. the time y'all tried to do something with your body and it just was wrong. I'll start and give y'all time to think. Like, the, tried to, okay, like well. the very first time I shaved every pube off of me in the summertime, I thought I was doing something. <laughs> what did you think you were doing? I'm not laughing at you. Never mind. Because I tried it. Yeah. yeah. No, Yo, no, hair, hair, is, hair is there for a reason. I no, thought right. it's there to protect. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, but when, when you I did thought that, you were I didn't doing know something, what did you think I, you were I doing? I did that when I was younger. Like, Whenever I did that, it was annoying me. I might have been yeah, hair, 14, yeah. 15, 16, one age where I just didn't know any better. And I did that thinking that, all right, now the sweat or just whatever down there, but nah. I was wrong. Yeah, no. You need hair. I shave. It was the most annoying thing in the world. Then the grow back I, part, I, it's just, it's just I, not I, I, I clean up You there. don't shave bald. No, you don't. Not bald. No, I, got the, I got the Manscaped, exactly. the Manscaped clippers. You just, oh, those work good? Sh- you shave low. Use yeah. promo, okay. co- promo code mall. No, I don't I know have that's a, I, I know that's a big podcast sponsor. Because shaving the balls is one of the most bevel, bevel with? Fuck. Be- hell no. That bevel shit comes close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I clean with the bevel razor. You got the bevel ball trimmers? With your clippers? Your regular clippers? I clean up a little bit. Nah, fuck. I'm scared to put shit's cut close. Bentley Barty. Bentley Barty. I just love bevel. I do too. bevel Those are great clippers, but that's not the place where you want to put I do not put the bevel clippers on my nuts. That nah. is danger zone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, with the manscape shit though, you can all of that shit. Yeah, because yeah. it don't cut that low. What happened when you tried to get that little hair off the helmet and hit it with the blade? I don't have hair on my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> hair on my helmet? What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> why do you have hair on your helmet? You weirdo. Yeah, you Did I say I have hair on my helmet? I didn't say that. <laughs> no, I said why do you have? I hair said on I, I never said I had oh, hair. Okay, on my yeah, helmet. no, I don't have hair. On you got hair on the helmet. Nah, but at, got, the ba- got... at the base, sometimes you got to grab that. It be at the base. Yeah, the base is tricky. It be at the base. And that's the trickiest yes. spot. I know how to shave myself, bro. Thank you. That's the trickiest spot. I get, I get everything. Spot. No, I'm asking for techniques. No, no, no. I get everything. No, don't steal my shaving sauce, man. Get your own. <laughs> but yeah, you got to get the, the, the correct... She can't use that bevel shit. That shit. Hell no. That's way well, too Well, bevel close. is not designed to... That's why you This is not do that. It. That's why you shouldn't do it. And shout out to Tristan and Bevel. I lost all my While respect. we're talking about our nuts. <laughs> you lost all your little respect? After you cut off all your little hairs? <laughs> Dick, Dick look mad childish. All of my, my little pews I think, off. I think that was the only that was the only incident I ever had with just trying to. That's not true. I dyed my hair blonde as a teenager. Oh, that and plenty I, of dudes and like I, that. And I had twists. Teenage years, I was bugging. I was that's just. That's what you trying to find your just, look. You trying to find yeah, your. I never yeah, found it. True. Yeah, never yeah, found you're trying it. Trying to find your pictures little... today still looking crazy. No, nah, yeah. but <laughs> I never never shave, got it. shaving your pubes bald is a, a bad bad idea for all the young people out there. Yeah, just shave. shave. Well, I don't know what I was thinking back then. I, listen, I tried it once and I regretted it, and I'll never do it again. The grow back in is really. I mean, if you if you dodge all the loose nut sack uh, flesh, I was. If walk- you get through that, all right. The next thing is when it grows back. I was walking around like a 
predator just just here <laughs> with it all the time. <laughs> oh, you scr- <laughs> like, you're, you're what, what is this kid doing? <laughs> Listen, man, hair is important. Even when I get tattoos, I realize how important hair is. Hair is important. Because they be shaving your arm, and my arm is on fire, not just because a tattoo purpose. forever. I'm going la- <laughs> to laser all this hair off my head. I am the evo- baldy? I am the evolution of my granddad who neared every morning. Whole house smelling like near. <laughs> Disgusting and nasty. <laughs> Granddad go to bed. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> Why do he need that fresh one? Yeah. Yeah, but now that I'm like 40. You understand? I'm like, that might be fly. Like, I mean, near this shit fresh out of him. I'm not having my bathroom smelling like near. Nah, my get shit. it lazy. My shit smell too sexy. Yeah. Or go to, um, don't, my only thing go to laser, Turkey and get the hairline I, I, I would, surgery. I would get it. I would do the laser thing. My thing with laser is they say it hurts, but they say you need a few sessions. Yeah. But I don't want hair. Like, I'm not on the Oh, you don't about, want hair? Not at all. Not at all. Oh, okay. Not I at never all. heard a man I'm, say he doesn't want hair. I went bald at 30. You weren't even You're not bald. bald. You we just saw your hair. That's my point. Up. Your that's hairline point. is just well, like. Well, now it might not be the sexiest, but at 30, I did this. Like, you didn't have to, though. That's my point. I don't want you it. Just like the ball. I don't want it. I, I don't. I don't want it. But once you could grow the full beard, it, it don't even matter. Like the ball head is like the hair yeah. is to what appear younger. You know what? When I was watching niggas in quarantine, like when quarantine first started, the grays was popping up. Niggas was in their natural, godly self. However, God made you. I was like, you niggas look like shit. <laughs> 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 like I don't. Under, I don't understand why. If you if you look like this. Like the girls be face tuning shit. If you look like this, why are you niggas dying the grays? Why are y'all Beijing in the corners? Like you don't. Mm. I think it looks stupid. That's that's it, me. Uh, it does when it's excessive. Like some some dudes literally have no hairline and they Beijing it, and it's like, fam, you look crazy. But then there's some that have a nice decent hairline, and, and, and it's just certain spots that's light, and you can just Beijing but, that. And a little you could see Beijing. Yeah, you can. Like Especially with these 4K the, I don't TVs, care how, I don't care how good it is, bro. This I this, this 4K shit, the t- <laughs> bro. You know how many guys I'm like, oh, he's been lying to me all these years. <laughs> like you see it on TV. Do you TV feel betrayed? And, yeah, I'm like, oh, you. I'm like, Fit, you got oxtail sauce in your hair. Oh. I, don't, I don't mind the grays though. Like I'm yeah, 30 and I have some in my beard. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. I embrace it. Yeah, the grays is not a problem. I don't have them in my hair, but my beard for sure. Like I would and, love and to dis- dye this whole shit Despite this gray. lighting, I mean, I still I still got a hairline. But I keep it low just to ease y'all into when I have to get rid of it. <laughs> but white people don't matter. Like I feel like your corners is because I feel like Rory's corners. White people is, don't know. Just stop right there, Joe. I yeah, like it. it. Just leave it. Yeah, white just people it. don't matter. That's that's not not you're I, right. White that's people not don't what matter. I that's not what I meant, though. Like, like I tell my like Michael Paul. He's not white, but <laughs> he does white people. In shit. the winter, he's kind of white. But like I say to him, like you could you could get off your corners, leaving, not shaving your beard, like. Rory's corner is leaving. If he just let his beard woof, nobody would care. He would look I fine. I just said, once you have hey, the full beard. And don't say that. Hey, my corner is still said, here. I'm not shaving the beard till we get a new deal. And then no new deal came no time soon. And he, he had to have it. that beard forever. He looked great. His fiance loved him more. I loved him more. Like He <laughs> was, he was a, a better man. Then he shaved it. Like, ah, oh, Patreon. I'm like, nigga, you look whack now. Yeah. <laughs> like, go back. Yeah, he looks stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, Parr's going to look crazy when the long hair leave. I'm used to it now. It looks beautiful. I know. I like somebody it. just, I like somebody just I, posted I like a curl. clip he of look us nuts. from a while ago, and Parks was in the shot. Like, I think we first started recording at Parks. And yeah. you got the straight, He's you got like nuts. a Rory cut. Yeah. You look crazy. That's like, how looking Parks at you used, now and looking That's how Parks then. used to look. Yeah. Crazy. Two I remember his eyebrows trying while out. I like this. <laughs> I like yeah. the longer too. The curly locks. You're not gonna you're not gonna cut this. You, you're uh, not cut it, but not go I'm back gonna, to the I might have to cut it for the wedding. Nah, put that shit in a bun. Uh, you Parks might kill the bun. Parks ain't a bun guy. Nah, he might kill the bun, but I mean Parks is the I'm not saying I'm not saying the hipster bun. I'm not saying the hipster bun. I'm not saying the hipster bun. Okay. Do you have your best men figured out? Yeah, yeah. I think I still might have to inform somebody. She has hers figured out? Yeah. I have more Wait, than her, though. Is, so it, say, is it the same number? No, I have more. Okay. It that, don't have to that, be the same number. It no. doesn't, but that can get awkward, I'd imagine. It, it, yeah, I don't know how we're going to pull that off. Like, the walk down, everyone's yeah, 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 paired yeah. up. Everyone dances. It's going to be some, it's gonna be some homies. <laughs> a homie <laughs> couple walking in. down. <laughs> <laughs> Any wedding I've been to. Now, I've, just call me. I walk like to. the ladies that ain't got no Bible. No, the ladies got There's enough ladies. Oh, it's more men. Typical. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nah, leave me. Sausage leave, party. leave me sitting in the back somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to say something that's probably wrong. It's okay. We got an edit button. In my experience, no, let, let's leave it. It's the edge. Uh, in my experience, the guy and the best men, like, they knew each other, like, for life. Yeah. Like, they're like friends for real. Like, yeah. they might jump in front of the bullet for one another. The girls, huh? <laughs> now, she's got a very tight knit uh, group of girlfriends, so. 
Stop right there. Not what I'm saying. I believe on the girl side, all of the bridesmaids are close to the wife, just not maybe so much close to each other. No, oh, yeah. They, 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 oh, okay. That's what you're saying. They may not, on the men's may side, not know each other. I feel like the best men or whatever it's called, I don't yeah. know. I'm they never all married. know each other. They all know yeah, each other. That's yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Sometimes and the, even if the they women, don't, you run with the same type of people that's for the most part. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. they'll get along. Like, and, oh, you like to drink beer and talk shit too? Just oh, off great. the strength, like, yeah, you cool because you hang my man. We have similar interests, whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. That bridesmaid thing get a little, a little messy. Different. Like, oh, that bitch thinks she cute. Yeah. Like, anytime okay, my partner was a bridesmaid <laughs> and she went and I sat in the audience watching, it was like, yeah, you don't know these bitches. <laughs> And she's yeah, like, no, oh, we're still all doing our hair to make up all the dress. We all look great. Oh, it's awesome. These are my besties now. We exchange numbers. That's why they usually like, have like yeah. a, the bachelorette and weekend, it. stuff yeah, like that. That's, that's what they Whoa, 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 whoa. Aggressive. Hmm? That don't exist no more. Shit. It still exists. That shit, they going everywhere. Tossing it to you. No, the girls link up and squat up. No, 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 no. Have their little no, potty. No, no. Let's right. bring it back to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your bachelor party. Oh, it's going to turn and, up. And is she having a bachelorette party? I think so, yeah. I want to cancel that for my wedding. You don't want her to have a bachelor party? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because I want to come. You want to go? You can't go I, to her bachelor party. I've been party. to like a split, like a, a co-ed I had bachelor, bachelor party. Too, it, it, was, it really actually wasn't bad. But I had fun at the one I went to. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, I feel like somebody on Love and Hip Hop did that. Your wife is sucking Joe dick there. at the bachelor party. Huh? You said what? Your he wife is, is sucking dick at the bachelor party. I was I didn't, hoping <laughs> you weren't going to repeat it. I'm not talking about I know that. I'm talking about she's not. He didn't get to the girlfriend speech. I could say this. I could say this tomorrow. No, she's not. Yes, she is. She's sucking dick at the bachelor One last dick. I don't think that's fun for them. One last dick. You think your wife don't don't want to suck one last dick? You think yours is the dick she want to live Yeah, I'm the last dick she will be sucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I hope not. This is the last dick. This is the last one. It stops right here. Your wife is doing something at the bachelor party. Yours, nah, yours, I mean, and mine. Nah. They might land with somebody that loves them. Nah, I don't we think don't. So. I think oh. this, All right, whoever I want to marry, that the shit that turns me on gets my wheels going. She gonna wild out. <laughs> I'm like, gonna be What's it called? The dancing bear. Yeah, they got the guy that comes I'll in there swings his dick all around. Yeah, they start <laughs> sucking him. I off. thought you were talking about cuckolding. <laughs> well, I, I think it, that's. Yeah, kind yeah, of Joe, yeah, Joe want to go to that bachelorette party. I heard Joe somewhere. They said you want to go to that bachelorette party. I said, I said, I love you, bro. Um, we shouldn't skip over that part of what you said of when you have to go to the wedding and she's in the wedding party and you don't know anybody there. Oh, that's, oh, that's awkward. awkward. Why did you invite me? That's awkward. I don't go. Like I get drunk. I'm literally yeah. sitting here. Unless you, I know if I know who's getting married, and then you put me at the different. weird people table. Like we all don't really know why we're here. Table. And that's a single. It's the singles table. I can't wait for Rory to do love and hip hop. I'm gonna have the best year of my life when that happens. <laughs> Joe, they called me when you were doing it, and I laughed obnoxiously on the phone and then had to apologize for how I reacted because it was rude. So I'm going to see Kimbella get married to Jewels. Mm -hmm. Love them. Mm -hmm. Mona invited me. Mm -hmm. It's one of those. You're a plus one? Mm -hmm. Sins in the wedding. It's one of those. Okay. Content. Scripted. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, a Mona wedding. Oh, I think we were together, too. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. We were together, and that happened. And shout out to them too, because that did look like a beautiful wedding. I come in, I come in the wedding. It was a real beautiful wedding. Yeah, no, look, it looked great. Shout out to Wells and I come uh, in the Bella. wedding. You know, it's a signed seating in the wedding. Mm -hmm. But this is a TV show. <laughs> Where was you yeah. assigned? Guess front. Guess next front. to sin. Guess front <laughs> on the side of the women. Right, right next to some, an right next to an ex of mine. Yeah, <laughs> some some, yeah. some ex was close by. Right yeah, next yeah. to an ex of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Directly in a bottle. Yeah, Mona Scott Young. And they, made sure she, they made sure she had a drink in her hand. In a collapsible I, table. I, I, yeah. I can't, this must be a coincidence. I, I yeah. can't sit next to my ex while my main is in the wedding. Right. That can't happen. I'm going to sit somewhere else, okay? I thought I had that covered on reality TV. I showed them. No. I tricked Mona, didn't I? No. Ha, 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 ha. There was another ex. Wow. <laughs> it's so odd that all these cups are filled and readily available to throw it in someone's face. Right. Right. What are these doing here? This table <laughs> seems flimsy as if someone could be thrown right through it. <laughs> it's, I should call Mona right now. This would be so fun, but I'm ready to go. I got to meet uh, Steve Stout somewhere. Listen, fucking, um, Ugh. the funny... <laughs> <laughs> I, I should I should call Mona right now, but I have to get to a Steve Stoutman. Ugh, ugh. That was that was filthy. Jesus Christ! <laughs> have, have some dignity. Have some self respect, just a little bit. Rory said, "Sneak me in the whole concert." <laughs> That's real shit. That's the point. And I didn't say have self respect because, because I had too much self respect 
to hit to miss it. <laughs> well, that too. But to be that guy the day of, to be like, hey, I know everyone's hey, hitting Sean. you. Can I get a ticket? Nah, I sneak in like a real one. And that's what the fuck I did. That's and, real shit. You wouldn't understand that. Go go talk to Mona and Steve. It's cool. Real <laughs> one's gonna sneak into Webster Hall. And I'm talking shit about Rory. But in a moment of transparency, Hove, I got the tickets from you and tried to walk over to the VIP section. And, 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 and boy, did they tell us to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let, me, let me see your wristband. That's the wrong color, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny, Tavon? He didn't tell me that. <laughs> he said, I thought it was all access. <laughs> It was general. <laughs> well, a little light yeah, GA. That's, that's funny when you get your shit from Will Call. Yeah. You bust that shit open, it's just general admission tickets. Yeah. But see, like, yo, fam, I ain't got no access, no VIP, no see, backstage I can't, credentials, I can't nothing. I hate on that because the amount of times I've done that to people that have annoyed me for tickets. Yeah, that, and that, then that means they uh, fuck with you. And then they they've had to hit, like, hit me more. They no, handled fam. me at that VIP. And when my ego told me to hit Hove, he was on the stage. That's yeah. when I realized how stupid I looked. Yeah. <laughs> And you should, the hustle. And, and I realized how stupid. I, yeah. And either way, he was getting. <laughs> he was in the middle show. of an exclusive freestyle like that has never been heard before. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, man, yo, you gave me the right yeah, shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sure about this color, Sean? <laughs> Sean, that is hilarious. No, what was even more disrespectful about the passes? I feel like because he did like actual like money. Yeah. And I feel, I feel like the VIPs got $100 bills in they shit. Y'all had one? No, it was $1. It was $1. It was, one dollar. It was, a, it was the coin? Yeah. Oh, it was a dollar bill. It was the second Julia yo, joint? Yeah, Rory's a soldier. I stuck Rory in a puff party. <laughs> like, Rory beats. Real shit. Yo, those are two parties that that shouldn't have never worked. You just put them under the frock? Those were two that just... But I feel like, I feel like Rory didn't Rory have to sneak... But when Rory was saying that... He didn't have to sneak in a puff party. I seen a few people that were at that was at puff party. And I, I, I yeah, Joe Rory could have yes, gotten I, it. Well, I disagree with that. Puff is a party with it was some I thought, people. I thought Rory could have gotten the whole concert. It was that some I, people I that was at puff party that should not have been there. Yeah, but Puff, that, that's different. I it, no, that's it, different. I, I seen girls Instagram, different. and I was like, wait, what? She's at Puff's party. Same. He's at Puff. Nah, same nah. bro. Hell no. I understand. Pe- Year's- I understand people not getting in the Puff party. You can't just get in a Puff party. No. Even the niggas that's not supposed to be there that got there, like they had a scam. <laughs> well, maybe they did. It was what, a good. What, and once I saw bro. some people there, I was like, Rory, he's fine. This person is there, and we showed Them up on parties. Time. <laughs> That's the other thing. Me and Joe got there before anybody. <laughs> oh, y'all were the early birds? Oh, yes, the fuck we was. And no, hey, y'all laughing. Three before nine? Y'all are laughing because those parties get so fucking crazy that we had the ideal section because we just sat there Yo. first. <laughs> we arrived on the day Fred Hampton got... <laughs> Wait. I got to learn how to do that. If I'm going to come back to the game, I got to learn how to do that. Wait. Like, how does Hope do that? But he don't just wait. He, like, coughs first. <laughs> I arrived in the day Fred Hampton got. <laughs> wait. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do yeah. this. Thing. That's how you got to do it. Catch your thought. Like, no, wait, wait, wait. That ain't right. Yo, me and Rory got to that party at 8 o'clock. That's nasty. On, on, no, <laughs> so I'm still out. I knew it was. No, it was. Definitely. I watched the sunset on that beautiful water. I knew oh it was God. too early when Puff was getting dressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... I was there in my outfit, but Puff was getting dressed in the bathroom. <laughs> like, Y'all I mean, I'm going to kill him with this tonight. The afternoon. <laughs> yeah, man. No, that might have been his first change. You know, he had like thing. seven outfits. You guys there. got dressed. Oh three. yeah, yeah, yeah. Roy, <laughs> Roy, help me get dressed. Do my cufflinks. <laughs> yeah, we had no outfits. Six p.m. I had, to, I had to look, teach him how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> I, I knew something was wrong when <laughs> later than me. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. I arrived in a day Fred Hampton got. <coughs> wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When when she walked in before <laughs> thing or do anything or alludes to anything, I just immediately went chill. That ain't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you did. Damn, he's here. You know, like when your girl mentioned an ex, but like funny, <laughs> like in a real degrading way. It's like what you want me to like, say? Like, ooh, that bitch will wear anything. Yeah. Um, that was a fun night, though. Real good night, real good night. Um, and rest in peace, Kim Porter. Oh, yo, and that B side show was the greatest. Alex, tell want to bring that bag down. Um, Ma. You yeah. had a you had a question about Valentine's Day that we can't ask after Valentine's Day, so I want you to ask it now so we can unpack it. Oh, women! When our uh, fans need it most, women that women because they they always like to say you know men like to pick fights before Valentine's Day, pick arguments so they That's don't have bag. to get nothing. But what about women that do that? Yeah, some shit for y'all. 
Oh, we got some some giftuses. Yeah, my man, six man. He sent y'all some shit once again. Do you have a box cutter? Oh, no, or a key? I, 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 you, you always I, got the razor in the tongue. I, just, I use my beer hand. Hold up, man. I arrived on the day Fred. <laughs> did y'all uh, Did y'all ever try to put a razor under your tongue? No. Yes. Oh, this is Rory. I tried once. Too cool for that. I don't understand what, how people did that. Oh, I did That's it. It's a really difficult thing. My tongue bled for a week. Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, shout out to my man, Six Man. He sent y'all some. Uh, it was supposed to be Christmas gifts, but he had the wrong address. Had to oh, send yeah. Back. He, he DM'd me and said, yo, it's. Just, like, not like he was looking for a thank you, but he was like, yo, I sent him all a bunch of stuff for y'all. Yeah, he sent, <laughs> like, he like sent did y'all ever get it? He like, I thought it. maybe you'd DM me and say thanks. No, he <laughs> I was sent like, it I ain't gonna shit. He sent the, it was the wrong address, but then he had to send it back. Okay. So. Let's see what's going on up in this piece live on the air. Some Christmas gifts. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. <laughs> Got you the mask. That's man. Mad funny. Now you don't gotta bring the the, the house yeah, slippers see? here no more. <laughs> Boom! Ooh! Got you the mags, B. Nah. Oh, Says something for you and Rim in there. I believe. That's yeah. Dope. Yeah. Rem, you, know you want the rainbows or the nah. baby blues? Not the Dior sneakers that I killed on air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I oh, can fit great. this. My foot yeah. is not this big. This small. Yeah, you can fit that. Those are those are the big slippers, comfy joints. Look right in there. <laughs> oh, big stepper. Yeah, big stepper. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> y'all want y'all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, fly. I got the uh, the Jordan ones. Oh. I bet I bet you did. Only me. With no, but no, those the Jordan ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout out to the six man. You know what I mean? He, he <laughs> fuck with us. Friend of the show. Came off the bench. <laughs> Yo. You know what I mean? Wanted to get y'all some some Christmas gifts. Those is fire. Is those is fire. <laughs> this is my best. No, I want those. This is though. great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are I want fire. the Air Max. I want the, the Air Max. The 97s. Yeah, the those is fire. Hold up, man. Those is comfy. Those are the mags, though. That's that's a big uh, deal. Now Rory got the Travis's. No, I have no. These those are the Dior's. Dior's. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Bad. These are the joints that I killed, but I love. <laughs> yeah, you can get comfy around the house now, kid. Yeah, this is cozy. <laughs> now I might wear these out. <laughs> you gonna step out? You talking about the crib? Yeah, man. Shout out to the six men. Shout no, these are. Men. All right, I got a question. Good guy. No, nah, thank you, man. For no, real. No, if you're you, looking, no, thank no, no, you. No, 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 no. Before you get to thinking, I have a question. Hmm? <laughs> How I know these is mine? Your name is Says on the your box. name on it. I don't see it. Where? Well, well my box Where? is Rory. Where? Sorry. Where? I arrived on a day Fred Hampton. <laughs> That's not how it Wait. went. You didn't, oh. you didn't cough that way. Oh. That's your name. You wrote that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You wrote that. You yeah. wanted me to add a Wale's. No, those are fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they all one size fit all. If y'all want to switch, you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, like. I mean, I want to switch with somebody. You know, those is fire, though. Yeah. You don't like those? <laughs> Joe was that kid at like, the birthday party that yeah. was like, I already had these. Yeah. Yeah. E, those is fire, right, E? You fucking yeah, with, I'm fucking with those. Yeah, those you, are hard. You spoiled little are. fuck. Right? Yeah. I'm they fucking are. with those in the crib. They are hard. Yeah, in the crib? Hell yeah, throw those on. Oh, I'm fucking with those. I like them. So listen, while we at it. They look great, Parks. Yeah, while, while we at it, <laughs> Nestle and Swish God sent us something, too. Last week, we didn't shout it out, but the Air Forces that came along with the hats. Okay. Uh, Look at us unboxing on here. Yeah, come on. I didn't ask you to give me that on here. Look at you. (laughs) (laughs) I arrived in a... (laughs) Yo, can we not skip over what Parks just said? (laughs) We're doing unboxing videos on our podcast. (laughs) The day, one time I asked a girl what she was doing today, and she said, I have a bunch of unboxing videos to shoot for IG. (laughs) Listen, no longer, want, no longer wanted to speak to uh, that woman. Who sent these? Uh, Ness, and, Ness and Swish God sent these. Okay. The hats. Thank you. The Appreciate sneakers. You. Yes, thank you. Everything. They're fans of the pod. They're Custom also musicians. Air Force One. They're artists. They got joints out there. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no. They, can, can, can I always take some A1s. We got any more boxes? Mm, I think that's it for today. Any more? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I think that's everything. Oh, okay. Somebody send us some more shit? My P.O. box is, is here. Unbox right, the halal. sleeper. Hey. <laughs> Unbox that chicken over rice. I arrived on a date. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how it went. <laughs> how does he do that so cool, man? How would y'all do it? Let me hear. I wouldn't. Yeah. That's the difference. If you have a smoker's cough, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Y'all are fucking I'll start like, really coughing. Y'all are scared to rap anything. Uh, congratulations to Jay-Z, uh, nominated uh, or soon to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. Bring, up, bring up the whole list. I, I have Let's an issue with that. Let's not just be hove. Why? Shit. 
I get it. Because there's the other nominees are oh shit, man. Mary J. Yo, this is Kate Bush, Devo, Foo oh, Fighters, no, the, the Go Go Fighters. I love the Foo Fighters and the Go Go's. Iron Maiden, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan, LL Cool J, Rage, Joel, come on, man, Rage Against me. the Machine. No, that's, no, that's, <laughs> that's the other one. That's, that's me and A Rab made it. <laughs> Knew the album, did things, wasn't ready at the time, knew they'd see it in the future. Dion Warwick. And Dion Warwick. I love this. I hate this. That's a squad. Devo? This is a crazy list. Uh, Wait, and how many can get in? I don't know if there's a limit. Oh, and Tina, oh, and Tina Turner? Oh, that's crazy. Carol K. Wait, Tina Turner ain't been in? I, yeah, I figured Tina Turner would be in there. I just wish we had a hip hop hall of fame. I mean, I don't want to hate on this. There's nothing to hate on, but they're taking our greats. They're taking NWA, Run DMC, Biggie, Jay Z, fucking Mary, LL. Like, I do wish they would. Why are we going in rock? I do I wish mean, they would find a way to rename. Have you ever been though? Because it's really a beautiful museum. I've never been. It's really, really like it's a rock and roll museum. Yeah, it's it's dope. If you're, it's in Cleveland. I was gonna say next time you're in Cleveland, in? go go the check hip, it out. That shit is that shit is fire. I understand what you're saying. The hip hop museum wouldn't be in Cleveland. Well, the hip hop museum should be right here in New York. Yeah. Of course. Well, they put this shit in New York, Bronx. Give it's, us a it's hall. One, it's one in the Bronx. Give right? us no, a no, hall no. Of they're, fame. They're, they're trying now, and they bought the spot. I, no, they're they're really trying now. I, I was part of the committee until health problems happened with a certain person, but they did buy a spot in the South Bronx for the hip hop museum. Okay, is it right, the one on the concourse? It's right up. It's right by Sin City. So in between the concourse oh, and Sin gotcha. City. Oh, gotcha. Okay, 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 gotcha. So I. It's in a weird place now, but it, it is supposed to come. And as soon as health issues can yeah, we subside, need we need okay. it. It's, yeah, I, yeah. I, I've been on the committee for it. I'm, so for now, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is still a prestigious it honor. Is. And, 1,000%. You know, it is. We shouldn't just gloss over that. And they donate a lot, to, from my knowledge, to like uh, music education and shit like that. So Right. Like, from what I know, they seem to be a solid organization. And I'm not mad at it because rock and roll is a black absolutely genre yeah. of music as well. So I'm not mad at it. I do just think a real hip hop hall of fame. We would do it properly. No, it needs to, it needs like to, real, it, real. It proper. needs to have its own entity. Its because own there's certain artists. I mean, you got to be Jay Z, N.W.A., L.L. Cool J, Run D.M.C. to get into this. There's so many hip hop artists that deserve recognition that aren't. On this plateau, sure. of I agree. these type of people, I sure. agree. I agree. So yeah, I, I feel it. But congrats to the nominees. Yeah. Absolutely, it's huge. Uh, before we get out of here, rest in peace, Larry Flint. Yes, the yeah. hustler. Rest in peace, Chick Corea, legendary, legendary uh, keyboard player. Mm -hmm. Been sampled a million times. He played with everybody, Miles Davis, and you name it. He played with. Them. Larry Flint, the Hustler magazine, founded the outspoken First Amendment activist who built an adult entertainment empire, died Wednesday at his Hollywood Hills, uh, at his Holly, Hollywood Hills home. His nephew, Jimmy Flint Jr., tells CNN he was 78 years old. Uh, I think it was 1978 where, uh, when he was shot and paralyzed from the waist down. I think that was 78. Y'all can check that yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, pornographic magazine, Hustler 94. Rest in peace. Uh, how did he pass? They, they didn't no, say it said heart, heart failure. Failure? Yeah. <clears throat> Got it. The People vs. Larry Flint was a great movie, by the way, if you've never seen it. I haven't. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, it was. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson, yeah. yeah. Good movie. I wanted to talk to you because I finally did see the uh, the movie uh, with uh, Zendaya and Zendaya. Malcolm and Marie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you feel about it? I, I love the first hour and 15 minutes of it. So the last 40 minutes you didn't like? I not that I didn't like it, but I didn't need it. Like, my soul was fed after an hour and 15. Like, that was enough toxicity for me. I cried. Reminded me of mad arguments that I've had in real relationships. Like, I love the cinematography, the artsiness of it. I yeah. see why y'all music. But well, why do y'all feel like the, it? Because Park said it was toxic. I didn't get toxic from that. Because they, <laughs> they well, weren't... You, they you weren't, never lived it. No, that doesn't... Y'all keep trying to throw shots at me like I don't have. I didn't. No, that no, was a compliment. No, no. I thought that was a compliment. No, what I'm saying is this: it's not toxic because they weren't over talking each other. They weren't like they gave each other the room to speak. The things they and said then I to respond. each other was toxic. Yeah, they're being but mean I to each other on purpose. But but even pass, in that moment, me. even in that even in that yeah. moment, I didn't take that as toxic because I don't feel like I feel like that was just everything coming out in that moment. I don't feel like they ever spoke about any of that shit. 
and it just all spilled That's why out I think it's that toxic. night. I don't feel like there's ever a point in a relationship where everything should come out. Oh, all no, your I, di- thoughts. I disagree. Some I don't that think shit, that you should intentionally that shit, some of that gut shit they your were fucking... saying. Yeah, they, they was yo. Every time one read the other and they got progressively worse, I was like, "Damn, what do you even say to that?" And then they found a worse read to read back. Right. Like when he was like, "Yo, you a junk, junk, junkhead." crackhead you never been shit when he went on that whole run i was like game over it wasn't over no nah. she came right back fan you're a nobody nigga like without me what have you created on your own <laughs> like uh-huh. well yo, they was going oh you can't that's not stuff you should say to your partner when you love them and want to build them and that's uh, what i'm saying no matter how bad the fight is sometimes you take a time out from the fight to walk away so you don't say things you'll regret yeah. they said everything that you would regret saying to your partner that's yeah. why i'm calling it toxic yeah yeah, I didn't get toxic from it. I think that all of that shit just spilled out as a result of her mentioning something and asking a question, and it just went from there. But I don't feel like this was a toxic thing. If your like- girl comes to you, Maul, and says, you made this hoodie because of me, nigga. You never had, you never, fam, that's my hoodie. I'm Elizabeth Taylor. I wore lipstick for whatever she says, right? Mm-hmm. And then you, 20 minutes later, Tell her all the women that you fucked and who really inspired this hoodie. That was nuts when that, that was happened. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yo, since you asking me, when I fucked Shorty in 97, I put her in the first scene. Right. Mm-hmm. That was my bae. Fuck the shit out of her brain. She called me for the next two years. Like, your partner don't need to hear a long, drawn-out version of mm-hmm. what you did Agreed. and who you pulled from, right? Agreed. That could hurt. And she said that. She was like, you didn't have to go to the heart-shaped bathtub. Fam, right? he, said, he said, and I felt her on this. She called back to it. You put the... You mentioned scissors to my wrist. Yeah, that's on, that's fam. a that's a come on, fam. Come on, more. That's far. That, it don't get more what, toxic. But than then that. he, but then he said, he said, he said we were fighting, we were throwing it, jabs. She the gloves, don't say that. He said the gloves were off at that point. You know, as someone like, who has dated someone yeah. that had a couple people really that have self harmed, I could never yeah. imagine. You don't throw that jab. I can she never. Said that wrong. And she, she said that though. She said that, and that's why it's toxic. I that's could crazy. never imagine. Da- and there was reason. There was times where I would maybe feel like digging that deep. I could never. That never even came across the fucking and when screen. It's affected you directly? Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> that's a deep dig. Yeah. But even in that, I think it was beautiful the way they both gave each other the space to talk. Like you know what I mean? Like they That's a way to look at it. I guess. Yeah. That's because it was a movie. Yeah. And it would have been hard to hear people yell over each other in a movie. People yell over each other in movies all the time. Yeah, but not for. But what I'm saying an is, hour and 40. this. I just love the way they got through and sifted through whatever issue they had. Okay. I think it was. I think it was for the most part um, respectful. I know hurtful things were said, but again, it wasn't like it was like okay, you said that. Let me respond to that. Clearly, they both this is their bag. You know? yeah. For me, she smoked this role so much. I am gonna take my guy's advice and go back and watch Euphoria. Yeah, I'm not familiar with. I'm really not familiar really with good. Disney work. I've never seen Euphoria. No, Euphoria, but is, I, Euphoria I thought, is really, I thought really she good. killed this. No, she's a great actress. She is. She's a great actress. Yeah, this was my introduction to her great actressing. And I, John I, I'm John go Washington is um, he's a great actor as well. I think this was his my guy. This was his uh his moment, That's and right. I mean he's been great in Ballers and all the you know other movies that he's done. But hey, confession: when she made the craft in the front, that was after I saw that meme with a white lady, and I said to myself, that would be better with some uh flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Hell no. That's all I got. I'm playing a sleeper. That I'm was out. Spicy slave slop. Listen, <laughs> rest in peace, Stilla. And I'm and I'm reminded every every year when it's his birthday and then unfortunately his death day shortly after. Yeah. Of how much I hate quote unquote real hip hop fans. Why you say that? I've walked into a, a room of an app that will not be named to celebrate Dilla, and it was a bunch of fucking real hip hop fans trying to kill anyone that was just simply asking, like, hey, tell me more about Dilla. God, yeah. I hate I hate That's y'all trash. so much. <laughs> That's trash. Like people, they would it, like on some real gen. Like y'all want to learn that's more. True. That's true. That's God, true. y'all are fucking annoying. Yeah. If you weren't there. At, yeah. Like Jesus Christ, these people are really asking. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to Rock Marcy. Oh yeah. Happy birthday to Rock Marcy. I mean, happy birthday. Let, to let Marcy. him know, scream man. And uh, I want to give a rest in peace to. Uh, I want to give a rest in peace to Mayor Glenn Cunningham. 
of Jersey City who passed away, man, long ago, like over a decade ago. But it's one of them pages that was just highlighting like greats from Jersey City. And I forgot about my guy, Glenn, who gave me the key to the city, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Glenn. Mayor Glenn, good guy. Real nice funeral uh, down Montgomery Avenue. And rest in peace, Rev Ron, while I'm at it. Like, listen, l- last year gave me so much, so much death that now when names just pop in my head, man, I'm honoring them niggas, man. Real shit. I'm hey. honoring them. I forgot certain niggas left, and I'm celebrating life. Rest in peace, Whitney Houston. Today is the uh, anniversary of her death date, right? Oh, well, I didn't know. That. When we're recording. You just yeah. told me off air. No? I didn't say that. Well, when, when we're recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Good episode, you guys. It yeah, was, I like today. I like today too, man. Cool Thursday app. I normally struggle with the Thursdays because you never know what Friday is going to hold, but today was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like this new basement. <laughs> and that's why, man, God has a funny sense of humor. Nobody killed this basement more than me. <laughs> Behind your back. Right. No, I was that's, in front that, too. That's, 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 <laughs> that's usually how it happens with yeah. Joe, though. He kills everything, and then once he's in it, he loves mm-hmm. it. <laughs> never, gonna, never gonna talk over the queen. No, ah. it's a little cheap movie figured out. Mm-hmm. Damn! <laughs> Wasn't this before? First of all, yeah, this was <laughs> before. All right. <laughs> All right, listen. All edits. Keep us in your edits, edits. keep us in your prayers. We're, no one listens at the last hour. <laughs> keep us in your prayers. <laughs> Shout out to rest. What am I saying? Hey, uh, just, just close it. You know we need to be there. Yeah, he's just close it. You know we need to be there. Yeah. Uh, life is moments. <laughs> life is moments. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Life is a series of moments. <laughs> moments pass, so let's make this one last. As if it's all we have. Until next time, I bid you adieu. Arriva Dirty, hasta la vista, so long, goodbye. Adios, deuces, what you're doing tomorrow, your Uber's outside. In the meantime, remember that the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab an ibuprofen, enjoy your headache. You guys got a headache coming on Monday, too, with Valentine's Day being on Sunday. It's coming. Don't worry about it. Just take the pre-shit. What's the shit you take off? Uh, on the plane when you feel like some shit is coming what's it called airborne airborne, airborne. get you some airborne buddy yeah. <laughs> taking airborne in the crib is nasty airborne, <laughs> airborne on the ground you home <laughs> you are grounded buddy yo have you y'all been uh, watching the all-star voting from the fans oh wait <laughs> Clay Thompson about to win <laughs> yeah I seen Charles was talking about that last week like that's ridiculous <laughs> nah he's moving up for real in this current moment <laughs> I think they think I'm talking about the ballot in a minute I believe if, if he's an all-star, that's the funniest shit on earth. <laughs> he better play. <laughs> we voted him. It's all virtual anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching no basketball, right? Just because I'm busy trying to get all of us raises. But my two basketball questions are, is Steve Nash going to ever call a play one? <laughs> does he need two, two? Yes, he does. Nah, they're he cool. No. Fuck defense. No. Just, go, go, just go score. But two... <laughs> Is this Zach Levine stuff real? <laughs> and I've been saying that dunk. for months. Nah, but last time you said yeah. that he dropped seventy or something crazy. <laughs> no, he's he and, he, and he's averaging seventy now. Yeah, like he's he not continues. Averaging 70. Yes, he <laughs> every game. Check it. Pull the stats. Up. Hey. <laughs> yo, last night it said it said yo the Bulls set the record. Zach Levine dropped eight threes, and Corey Wusses must face who I hated at North Carolina dropped. I don't know his name. Uh, whatever his name is. Stop trying to tell me his name. Uh, <laughs> he dropped eight threes, too. And I'm like, there's a three-point record that Steph and Clay don't have? Or, That's what I said. Zach Levine might really be the real deal, man. Now he's balling. Steph, yeah. is, is, Clay Thompson definitely hit more than eight threes in a game. No, no teammates, I think it's teammates, the fact teammates. that they're oh, they both did it together. Oh, they both did. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think even Vince Carter has 15 threes in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. That's some wild shit. Some crazy. Zach is bugging, though. <laughs> He hope like this is sustainable. It looks like now. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's all I had for basketball. I know y'all don't want to hear us talk sports anymore. I got it. <laughs> Hold up, she's spazzing now. She about to wig. Yo, United got some nerve to sponsor the Bulls.
we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm just like, come on. We're gonna get out of here. All the money you dumping into this advertising. No. <laughs> just come on. Give me a plane that's not from it's 1997. Fine. Hey. <laughs> Is there another player that's going to come forward and say, nah, we shouldn't have no All-Star game? <laughs> I don't know what they was thinking. <laughs> oh, wait, she ain't done it. <laughs> as long as you know. This is different right here. Sorry, Ariana. <laughs> Did you hear Ariana, Ariana do this? Ariana. This? I never heard No, that. I never heard that. <laughs> Yo, Mo, you Mo, never heard Mo. Ariana no, do this? Oh, Mo, I love not you. Today. I love you. Relax. <laughs> What am I relaxing no, about? No, you just asked you, me. I why, never, why, why, no, relax what? I never heard Why it. am I relaxing? Because I don't even want to hear Ariana's name next to Whitney Houston. That's not what he said. Y'all, y'all are just so missing. She, why you put y'all? She performed this I live never... with the dude that wrote the record playing the piano. This is a cover. Whitney took this like, from somebody else. What are you talking else. about? I just like, don't want to hear her voice when it comes right, to Whitney. Whatever, whatever. I just don't. This is crazy. Y'all just be saying shit that don't. She performed at Aretha he's, Franklin's funeral. He's still saying. You don't get to perform at Aretha Franklin's funeral if you're not one of the greatest voices. Period. I think she has a great voice. She does have one of the greatest voices. I was with you on her having a great voice. To answer your question, I have not heard her version of this. Look it up. That's it. Look it up whenever you have <laughs> That's a moment. All. Just look it up. <laughs> whenever you have a moment on YouTube, just look it up. Look nah. up Ariana Grande performs this live with the guy, I forgot his name, that wrote the record. <laughs> He's playing the piano. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. Simple. Close it. No, nah, not, not after you did that. I got to play it. Yeah, I feel like, no, this, podcast, I feel like this podcast. I feel like this podcast. Let's play it. This podcast was too great for you to wiggle on us at the end. <laughs> no, nah, let, like, let me just set the All right, no, 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 we got, what are you I, talking who's about? Y'all? I didn't she, say that. I'm just saying. Oh, Rory said, everybody was like, yo, oh. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Rory, I'm one not, person I'm said not comparing Rory her to Whitney. And Rory's staying by it. No, I say anything. You can't stand by it if you've never seen the live performance of it. Keep us in your per. I did that. All right. Bye. <laughs> uh, I want to find the right one. Shame no. my I'll never pass. All right, Ma, all that shit is great, but did you hear the Mac Wilds cover? No? Oh, it's I Have Nothing. Mm -hmm. If you didn't hear it. The cover of what? Mac Wilds cover of this. Cut it out. <laughs> This nigga's cut it out, man. What you talking about, man? This nigga's crazy. You ain't hear Yeah Ali hit him with this one. I, I don't Yo, imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ali sauced it up. <laughs> oh God. All right, no, I'm leaving. No, nah, I'm going time. to meet with Steve let's, Stout. Let's <laughs> debate. All right, one hook. All right. That's the wrong one. It's not that one. Uh oh. Not live at the White House? No. No, this sounds like she's about to go whoever, crazy. Whoever wrote, it, whoever wrote it was playing the piano. <laughs> no, I forgot right. his name. Turn it off before Maul is right. <laughs> she about to wig. She could sing her ass off. Yeah, but that's not what Maul's arguing. She about to go crazy. No, it's not what I'm arguing. Oh, wait. Patty didn't want to hug her. Get off me. <laughs> she's trying to hug Patty LaBelle. Get out of here, little colonizer. <laughs> 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 Colonizer is just funny man. That word is just funny Wait, She killing this you know? Don't try to not turn it up Rory I, This is as loud as it goes Oh, That's not even the version I'm talking about Oh she ain't got no vibrato How many times she did I have nothing <laughs> Celine Dion bored as hell <laughs> Celine Dion mad <laughs> No makeup Mo what do you think Celine Dion got to say about your take Yeah no this got to be the wrong version this ain't it. I, ho I hope. <laughs> this is the wrong version. That's Maul is not adamantly defending this version. Well, let me hear. Let me die. No. No, she hear. could sing. And she has one of the best voices of let, the let generation. Me hear, let me hear the white version of this. She's nice, man. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> she is nice. She's nice. No, this is great. But it ain't Whit. <laughs> like, it's not Whitney. <laughs> she's nice, though. Nobody's Look Whitney, at Janelle but she's Janelle Monet is like Celine Dion is bored. <laughs> turn this off. Turn this off. Is that Celine Dion? I don't Celine know. Celine Dion where? That's not Celine Dion where? Look at Jill Scott. Jill Scott is furious. Jill Scott's talking to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> she is disgusting. First, first of all, y'all playing the wrong version. Y'all breaking down the wrong version. I didn't know she. All right. I told you that before you press play. I still thought she was killing this. She sounded good. <laughs> I thought this was a good job. She could. The fan. Uh, it's uh, no wait, debate. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it with David Foster, right? Yeah. My only debate with you is that. My only debate was oh, that she was one of the best footage. vocalists ever. Not that she I ain't. 
Like if I'm making a list, okay. If you're, one I ain't the, gonna name fifty I, names right, before. Ask you this, her. Can I ask you this? If you're one of the greatest vocalists of your generation, would you not be considered one of the greatest vocalists ever? Depends the generation. Yeah. No. Okay. But I do agree. This generation. That's a she's good question. A, she's a no, phenomenal I vocalist. I agree. This is the ver- no. Oh yeah, it is. But that's not. But the it's David a cell phone Boston. footage. Yeah, I don't want to play that. But Ma, I was with you when you brought up her voice being one of the greats. I get it. I just don't have her as high. As you have her. Of her generation? Of her generation, generation sure. sure. Of pop singers, oh, okay. sure. She's not in the Whitney conversation. That's no, what no, I'm saying. Who, who would ever put her there? <laughs> Only Whitney is in the Whitney conversation. Yeah, like there's nobody <laughs> in the Whitney That's conversation. There's nobody in the Whitney conversation. Okay. There's not many, at least. I just know if we came prepared. I could think of another two say, names, If we came maybe. prepared for no, this debate, can't. I could put a lot two? of names before our, uh, Ariana maybe. Grande. Who? Celine Dion's in that conversation. Celine Dion has a crazy. Barbara voice. Streisand is in that conversation. <laughs> Who about Barbara? Barbara? Hey, I'm out. Barbara? No, Barbara. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm with Mo. Barbara Streisand is not in a Whitney Houston conversation. I, st- I stopped. I'm with, I'm with you. No, I am with you. Barbara Streisand and y'all still sitting down. Ain't nobody. Barbara Streisand is not white Whitney? No. No. no, 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 no. And not even close. No. No, no sorry. So, yeah. It's... No. She can sing, though. Celine Dion. <laughs> Maul left. Look, we do a Patreon. Hey, he's still screaming. Look, look, Barbara look. Streisand. <laughs> Maul, right. we're agreeing with you. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> oh, you one of those? Mariah? When he leaves, you start talking? Sure. Mariah's probably maybe That's two. That's two. That's two. <laughs> Maul. And she's still not Maul. there. No. Maul. Mariah is not Whitney. Yeah, no, she's no, not. She's not. no, she's not Whitney. But <laughs> I was bugging with Barbara Streisand, but still. Yeah. Hey, Maul, come back so we can talk about Queen Latifah being the equalizer. <laughs> please. Please. Queen Latifah's the equalizer. Come on, sit down. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, who I is I stumbled on that the other night. How is it? I love Queen Latifah. <laughs> of course. But she walked in that. <laughs> is, she not the, seen... is she not the equalizer? No. It's just Queen Latifah, man. Let's save it, because I want to talk about this. Yeah. This scene right here. This is where I turned to the channel on that scene. I didn't even know what this was. Have y'all seen Set It Off? Yeah. All right, then. But it's not. She's <laughs> equalized. Look at her. <laughs> She's about to equalize. Well, she's equalizing. <laughs> She's fucking equalizing. No, I'm not expounding on this because I'm going to want to uh, expound on this next episode. Queen, Yo, listen. I didn't know what this was. <laughs> it came on after the Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. I had to change channels. Of course. It's a big deal. It's a big gig. Look, Calling now, somebody? Look, now they're hating. Hold up, man. <laughs> what are we doing, man? See, this is what I'm saying with y'all niggas. Like, I say Ariana Grande, and y'all laugh me out the room. No, this we, la- we, we laughed him. We laughed him out the room. Man, the man, the room. Get the we laughed him out the room. Barbara you left the room. Barbara Streisand <laughs> shit. You don't turn that shit off. All right, nah, that wasn't your jam. Hold on. Shit, move you. He's not moving you. No. <laughs> And I love Barbara Streisand. Come on. But in the conversation of what we was having, no. <laughs> Look at your watch. We're going to play this shit. <laughs> no, all right, it's time on. to go. Come on. Right. Yo, YouTube, you're yeah. missing all the fun. Bye. <laughs> oh, uh, what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Press all that shit. No. Press all that shit. Give us, give us another truth. It happened. It did. It ended on a truth. It happened. Yeah, it, was a kid, it was a kid in the Pacific yeah, Northwest. Yeah, yeah. It ended. A fact is Barbara Streisand is not Whitney Houston. <laughs> Please cut that yeah, off. Barbara going to town, ain't she? <laughs> yes. 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 A similar event did take place. You were right. You were right. Our research found a published report of a similar story. Yes, it was. A similar story happened to a young man in the Pacific Northwest for about 20 years. It happened. A similar event took place. You're right again. You're right. A similar story happened to a teacher in the Florida area. This happened. You're wrong. 
You were correct. <laughs> it happened. This one took place. A similar story occurred in the state of New Jersey about 20 years ago. <laughs> Why are those so funny? <laughs> <laughs>